Hello, fluffy people of the world. My name is Liquid Blitz, and welcome back to Dark Souls 1, episode 11, I think. Okay, so a whole bunch of shit has happened since the last episode. Um, but uh, it's a whole bunch of sort of nothing. You haven't missed anything whatsoever. In fact, um, I did all, even that a few days ago, so I've compiled a list, and I might as well just show you the... Notepad document. Uh, hang on, bear with me. Here we go. Sorry if this is small, if you're watching on a phone and this is small, but, uh, I've got a what I've done since last episode list and a to do list. Okay, let's just try and get through this <laughs> as fast as possible and get to the game. So, I can't remember what I decided to do at the end of last episode because it's been a week. Um, and it's even been like three days since I've been in and done all my farming and shit. So this list is as much for my benefit as all of y'all's benefit. Um, so I upgraded, this wasn't my main goal, but I found myself down in Blighttown anyway, and I uh, upgraded Pyromancy to plus five. I had only got it on plus one, I think, like when you upgrade it from plus 15 to the special one, that was on just normal. And I've gone from that to plus four, uh, by using all my souls items, like Brave Soul and Proud Knight Soul and all that shit. That got me all the way up to plus four, and then I just farmed Capra Demons um, in, uh, to get it to plus five. So I went down into the Demon Ruins, didn't take that long, killed those demons a few times, and then I upgraded that to five, so my Pyromancy is maxed for now. Um, now the reason, yeah, I've been 100%ing all like your previous areas, Recording all of it, and long story short, I went back through Blighttown starting top down, if you see what I'm saying. And, uh, I, yeah, I have jumped to a ledge with an item on it, which I missed the first time round. Um, back when I was a whippersnapper and a noob, and I found a katana. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's like Aito Katana? Um, sadly, I notice it scales with dexterity, and this is just clearly not a dex playthrough, so I'm probably not going to use it other than just to have fun with it, um, because I'm going full sort of strength, really. Uh, it's a shame, and, and, and I'll get back to dex in a, in a minute. Um, I also kill that Titanite de demon, um... I've done this list in a weird order. I've upgraded a shitload of weapons, basically, to plus 10. Um, and in so doing, I was killing all your silver knights and shit in the cathedral again and again and again. And I killed that titanite demon. But it wasn't a brave attempt. I cheesed it from the doorway by tossing fireballs around the doorway. It just ult ultimate cheese mode. Got some demon um, upgrade material from him. Um... I went down in that room with the dragon heads. Uh, there's a couple of chests in there. Just a full set of silver knight armor and a sword, I think, as a drop from one of them. Uh, and I'll read that once we get back into game. Uh, now, I wanted to get various weapons upgraded. And I, it turns out 10 is like the ceiling because once you get to plus 10, with all your shards that you can buy from the blacksmith... Um, the upgrade item you need to get to plus 14 with any weapon, you can't buy, so it's not unlimited. So I stopped at plus 10 for all the weapons that I've upgraded. Um, and let's just go back into game and go down to the blacksmith, because it sort of, like, leads into... Uh... Hang on, bear with me. Yeah, it leads into all the rest of what the hell I've been doing. I noticed one thing. I came back... I've been, like... Back to Andre and then back to this giant, like, back and forth, like, six times. <laughs> it's kind of awkward. You've got to go to Andre to upgrade a weapon from five, plus five to plus six. But then you can do the rest here. And you can only buy the shards and shit here, so it's kind of awkward. But I noticed one thing. Um. Modify equipment. Boom. I don't know how I didn't see this last time. It might not have even been here, but there's a tab here, and I saw immediately. So it requires Soul of Sif, Soul of Artor, Soul of Quilag, all your boss souls, and it immediately. T uh, I, I immediately understood these are your boss weapons. So Great Sword of Artorius, Abyss Great Sword, Great Lord uh, Great Sword, Quilag's Fury Sword. Now some of these I can make. 
Loud car. Some of these you c I can already make because of the weapons I upgraded. Um, I think I saw... I think I leveled up my S-Stock to plus 10, and then I saw this. I was like, oh, shit. So then that's what made me upgrade even more weapons. So I've got your Boulder Side Sword to plus 10, your Falchion to plus 10, um, the Katana I found in Bly Blight Town, I just threw that to plus 10. Um, but the goal was... Let's go back to the list. Um... The goal was to basically get one of every type of weapon to plus 10. Um, and I ha I had that goal before even noticing these boss weapons were a thing. Like, I just wanted uh, one of every type of weapon upgraded to use it anyway. Like, and by happy coincidence, it seems to require a plus 10 weapon to make a boss weapon. I don't know if that's true or if it just requires, like, more than plus 5 or something. Um... Either way, it's it's a happy coincidence. I was I was already upgrading to specifically plus ten, and that's what the boss weapons require. So happy coincidence. Now, as you can see at the bottom of this list, um I've got the Falchion to plus ten, so I've got a curved sword. Um Boulder side sword is a straight sword. I've got a thrusting sword, so already I've got all of these at plus ten. I haven't got a spear yet. Um, I've got a halberd slash scythe um, up. Gargoyle halberd plus 10. Um, I only just thought of this before this episode. I didn't even consider upgrading a shield just in case. So I need to upgrade a shield and a spear. Um, I was halfway through upgrading an axe to plus 10 and I just ran out of time the other day. So I've got a gargoyle tail axe to plus 5. Uh, I need to finish that off. And then I thought talisman and catalyst. But then I, I realize, I, even if I can get a boss weapon out of one of those things, I won't be able to use it. So that's probably kind of completely pointless. Um, and I can't think of any other weapon types. Oh, mace. I, even though I don't like the moveset, if it makes a boss weapon, then great. So, yeah. And also specifically this this episode, to-do list. Um, the, there's no the open window at the top of the cathedral to jump out of um so i'm gonna do that next um i saw a walkway at the bottom of that spiral boy outside so i'll be going down there and here's the big one i've decided to go back to the painted world and see if there's an invader there now i don't know where i don't know if there is an invader i think there probably will be um i think somebody commented that there was but i don't know where it'll be maybe it'll be on the bridge where your undead dragon is so i've decided i might try and kill him or it might be in that big um, circular room, sort of in the center, or maybe that empty gra that the graveyard that was weirdly empty. Um, so I'll be going back there and going human. I think I'll do that first. I'll do all this shit first. Um, and yeah, all the upgrade stuff. I I've done a bunch since the last episode, and I'll save it for after this current episode. I'm not going to be upgrading shit mid-episode. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Y you are caught up, so let's just quickly sort out my game capture. Just hang on, bear with me a second, you'll lose the game screen. And... Uh, is, that, is that good? Okay, good. Right, so, in terms of boss weapons, I'm just absolutely guessing here that each boss soul can get you two weapons. I'm going off Elden Ring logic here, because I noticed that the soul of Quilag, uh, yeah, there, this creates two different weapons, Quilag's Fury Sword and the Chaos Blade. Now I've only got one soul of Quilag and I'm guessing it gets used up, so I guess just like Elden Ring, in one playthrough you get a choice of one of two things, so... I've, I mean, yeah. I've decided not to create a boss weapon if I can only see one option here, because I'm sure there'll be two per boss. That sounds right to me, so if I can only see one, I'm guessing that means I don't have the other thing that I need at plus ten. So I'm going to wait until I've upgraded one of absolutely every type of thing before I make a choice, except when I've already got two options, like with Kree like So I'm going to do this right now. Um, I haven't given it much thought, to be honest with you, um, between these two. Kree likes Fury Sword and the Chaos Blade. I do love your katana, but if you look at the, re the requirements and shit, 
uh, or the scaling. Um, the Chaos Blade only scales with Dex, which is bad. I'm because I'm, I'm, it's too late to to switch from Strength to Dex at this point. So I'm I'm probably going to go away from the Katana, as awesome as they are. Um, the the Quilax Fury Sword ain't much better, but it does fire damage, and I think that is irrelevant of strength and dex, is it not? Um, and it's got a tiny bit of strength scaling, so I've, I'm leaning towards the Fury Sword. Um, yeah, because that's that's just yeah. I've just made my mind up. That's just dexterity scaling, and it has only physical damage. So it's all dex, whereas the Fury Sword, mostly fire damage. So the dex doesn't even matter. Plus, it's got a tiny bit of strength scale. And you know what? I saw this earlier. Fire. And I'm tempted to un-upgrade my Zweihander. Because I, I turn into fire, but this might end up being my fire weapon. Um... Or better yet, what am I talking about? Because I need a fire weapon to become a chaos weapon, don't I? So if I finally want to make a chaos blade, that'll be the Zweihander. Fuck it. I've made my choice. Quilag's Fury Sword, and besides, it sounds fucking badass. Let's do it. I don't have much interest in uh, in the Falchion. I guess you lose the, the blade, obviously. Um... Fuck it. It costs 5,000 salt. Let's do it. My first boss weapon. <laughs> Queen likes Fury Sword. I bet it's... I bet it still doesn't compare to my Black Knight Sword. I don't think anything really compares to this. Um, and this is full. This is maxed out now. Uh, I did that last episode, didn't I? Anyway, where is it? There. Ooh. You see, the damage looks pitiful just in comparison, but it's it's fire. Okay, weight three point five versus. Oh, it's less than half the weight of the Black Knight sword. Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna throw it on. What's it look like? Oh, ho, 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 ho. dude. It kind of reminds me of. Uh, the king's fucking what's his name's sword in Elden Ring, um, the, the Omen King. That's a big, longer sort of purple sword, but it still reminds me of it, sort of spiky and cool, dude. Um, oh, I, I opened this shortcut here to get back to the fire easily. By the way, um, I don't think I did anything else. I literally did nothing new between episodes, um, other than open that door there. I just farmed mobs I've already farmed, killed that demon, which you saw, and that was it really. Just, yeah, killed lots of regular mobs. Oh, oh. oh my god. That's something. Okay. Okay. This is my. F oh. Okay, you can't kick with it, but it does that backflip. Of course, it's the curved sword, isn't it? So it, it's got that moveset. Dude. Oh, and the light attacks cost fuck all stamina. That's great. Dude, two light attacks with my Black Knight Sword and I'm done. I can swing for days with this. What's your power attack? Even the power attack uses no stamina. Let's... Can you chain it? Yes. Ooh. What about your jump attack? Let's two-hand it. Dude, okay. I'm hoping I get some weak to fire enemies soon. I want to use this for a little bit. Let's just put the Black Knight Sword away for now. What else can we make? Uh, yeah. Hmm. I want to get a spear to plus 10. And I don't, I've decided I don't want it to be the lightning spear that I've got. I just want it to be a regular spear because if it uses up a weapon to turn it into uh, a, a boss weapon, then I'd... I don't necessarily want to use a really good weapon, because then I'll lose it, you know? So I might just up a regular spear, I guess, to plus 10. That seems to be how it works. Um, right, okay. Uh, okay, these both use your boulder side sword, but they are different boss swords. Huh. Oh, in that case, I might want to raise another straight sword to plus 10 then. 
I do like the sound of great sort of Artorias, I can't lie. Um, is there any other that I've got two for? Uh, so, so, by the way, some of these are completely strange names to me. Gwendolyn Manus. I can see both Manuses. Uh, I can see both of Gwendolyn's. Priscilla, that's the Cat Lady, isn't it? Right, so if I kill Cat Lady, I can make... I can turn my Gargoyle Halibur to a Life Hunt Scythe. Um, I'm not that big on the moveset of Halberds and Scythes, I'll be honest with you. I know it's, like, very powerful, but I sort of prefer swords. I like your original Halberd for the Pokey Pokey, but you lose that with the Scythe moveset. Um, and I've decided, basically, since the last episode... I've made a decision. I'm not going to kill any friendly NPCs. I just don't have it in my soul to kill a friendly person, let alone a lady with a cool tail, okay? So I'm not going to kill Cat Lady Boss. And I'm not bothered about that scythe. Um, that said... That said, I can't see what her other option is, if there is one. I'm guessing here I can see, like, both of, like, Gwendolyn's upgrades. Because I've got the the shit, if you see what I'm saying. Or do I? Because why are these greyed out if I've got them? Insufficient material. Oh, of course I don't have the soul. Right. Right, yeah. I think I can only see these on this list because I have the weapon that is necessary. But regardless of the soul, isn't that true? Because I can see two Manuses, two Gwendolyns. But I can't see two uh, Priscilla. Ornstein, by the way, is that big boy that I'm going to kill this episode. And I can on only see one of his as well. One of his is your thrusting sword. I wonder what the other one will be. Right, okay, I'm going to leave the rest until I can see two of everything then. Um, see, I've got Sif's soul right now as well. Um, I've also got the Iron Golem soul, and that is not even, even on this list. So, clearly, between this episode and next episode, I will fully upgrade one of every single thing in the game. Just so I've got a full, complete list, and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Right. Let me just make sure there's no... Hang on. I'm struggling more and more these days with delay on my game screen. That's fine. Okay. Right. First order of business. Let's jump out that window. In my many trips between here and uh, and back through Sen's Fortress, I've noticed, I've seen the uh, the item um, there, and I'm pretty sure, knowing that the window is right over here, it must lead to that. So, oh, I'm getting that chest as well. Sorry, I'm so flustered at the start of this episode. This is what happens when you've it's been like a week since you last played, not counting a farming session. And you've got like a million things on your to-do list. You know what I mean? Ooh, right, okay. Um. Huh. Well, you can't climb up there, so it's... Uh, do I have to fall and get trapped on the inside of that fence? Because otherwise there's no... I can always home bone my way out. Dragon Slayer Great Bow and Arrow. Okay. Um. What, is, what does this feel like? I'm fat rolling all of a sudden. Okay. Right, I'm definitely going to have to home bone my way out since I'm trapped. Um. I'll tell you what. Skip ahead if you're not interested, but, um. I did get several items, I suppose. Uh since the last episode, namely the Silver Knight set, including the sword, by the way, which I think is rare. I got the full armor set from one of those chests, uh, but I got the sword from a, a drop killing one of them. Um, and here's the sword. Uh, it's just physical. Dex scaling. Oh. You know, I need to do a dex playthrough at some point in the future so I can go like full katana and like knight sword and shit. Um... Straight sword, regular. The Silver Knights of Anor Londo guard the city using this beautifully slender weapon. Its chain attacks, in which the wielder takes great advancing steps and makes use of his body weight, are deadly even in single hits. Hmm. Um, 
Have I got anything else new? I think I might have found the great sword somewhere. Um, da -da -da -da. Strength scaling, that's good. 28 strength required. One of the gigantic straight great swords. Oh, it's an ultra great sword. Very few have what it takes to wield this incredibly heavy damage dealing monster. A favorite of the knights of Baronique, known for their heavy armor and black iron tarkas. Have I found. Oh, let's actually read the description of this as well. Oh. Um. You know, being a fire weapon, I'm surprised this doesn't scale with, like, faith or something, actually. Um. But it is what it is. A curved sword born from the soul of Quila, daughter of the Witch of Isoleth, who was transformed into a chaos demon, in, and she was naked, and I killed her. Like Quilag's body, the sword features shells, spikes, and a coating of chaos fire. Like Quilag's body. I'm surprised it doesn't just have a giant pair of tits on it. Power affected by wielder's humanity. What? Is this a chaos weapon officially? And I didn't even realize it. That's, that's what chaos does, isn't it? Coating of chaos fire. Okay. Let me know in the comments if this is officially a Chaos Weapon. Or if it just does what a Chaos Weapon does. I did not realize that. I might not have to upgrade Yishvaihander to Chaos after all if this is a Chaos Weapon. Mm. Anything else brand new that I've... I might as well read the Katana I got. Katana forged in an eastern land. The Katana is drawn from the scabbard of a, at lightning speed using... Aijutsu technique. I can't pronounce that. Blah, 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 allows the wielder to charge forward to swiftly cut down distant foes. Cool. I did give it a couple of swings uh, earlier, and it's nice and fast. Just a shame about the whole dex situation. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Anything else new? No, 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 no. I've taken everything out of my box, by the way, so every unique weapon I have out on me. Um, got a bunch of demon spears by killing these fuckers outside again and again. Hmm. Anything else new? I don't think so. Not particularly. I just got the Dragon Slayer great bro. Bow. Bow of the Dragon Slayers led by Hawkeye? Is this an Avengers movie? Okay, this bow's unusual size requires it to be anchored to the ground when fired. Damn. Okay, anything else? I think we are golden. I know the silver knight thing, but I'm guessing it's all the same. Uh, the shield is blessed with divine protection. Huh. I wonder if that actually is. Cool, I think we're good. Um, yeah. I don't know if we've got any... Uh, I'm, I might quickly read a Silver Knight thing, because I got the full set. Da -da 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 -da, link to the fire. Da -da 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 nope, okay. Cool. Um, well, the last fire I rested at was the one all the fucking way back there. Is there really no way out? <laughs> um, and I killed all these mobs before starting on purpose as well. By the way, I've decided, after killing a million of them, the big golden fucking warrior guys around here suck. Uh, they are so annoying to fight. <laughs> I've tried different weapons. They, they just suck. I've died to them several times. Ooh. Right, let's get... It, it's been 25 minutes. <laughs> let's finally start the episode properly. Um, so I want to get the painted area sort of done as I said I, I kind of want to get that undead um, dragon killed and find the invader that somebody mentioned um, uh, just hang on, don't go just to be clear I read that comment after deciding to go and check for an invader anyway um, so it's not like that was a straight up spoil that was al already on my to-do list um, I still think there might be one in Anor Londo uh, so I suppose when I'm human, before I go into the painting, I might want to run into that hall where I killed Golden Boy. Like before the Ornstein and Smaug boss, just in case. Um, anything, hang on, anything else I want to do before I go human, otherwise I'll go and do that now. Uh, 
Da -da 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 -da. I need to rotate your spinny boy, and I want to get that chest as well. Up inside, what you call it. Do me a favour, y'all, and let me know in the comments what is weak to fire. I know dragons are weak to lightning. Clearly, skeletons are weak to divine on some level. Um, and I think maces. Just like in Valheim. Um... I can't think what else. I'm sure there are. I'm sure every status your weapon can have has some enemies that are weak to it. Now, fire is just historically pretty good against kind of everything, really. Um, but I can't think of anything specific in this game that it might be weak to fire. Now, where the fuck am I going? I want to go up there to the chest. Uh, right. Yeah. In my one of my many trips back and forth, I noticed that fucking ledge down there. Um, and I have not been in there. Um, so... Do you reckon I should get that chest first? Uh, hmm, well... I kind of want that chest. Let's just push this and see what happens. I'm taking my sweet-ass time getting anywhere in this game. I apologize for that. Um... But it is what it is. By the end of this episode, no matter how, how long it takes, I will have defeated Ornstein, and I will have done everything I want to do in the Painted World. And hopefully progress even further in Anor Londo. If not, complete it. Alright, uh, can I... I want to get up there where that chest is. Uh, hang on. I could go down there now. Fuck it. It's just a chest. I'll, I'll get it later. I want to see what's down here. I'm sort of glad I've I failed that Ornstein boss fight, you know, because for a start, for all I know, it might have let me not fight Golden Boy after I've killed the area boss, because, like I said last time, I don't know if invasions work the same way, like, ooh, bonfire. Like, if I kill the area boss, it might not just be NPC invasions on me that I can no longer do. It, uh, it might be me invading other people. So I'm glad I failed that boss fight. And then coming down here for a fucking bonfire. Another awesome statue with a weapon that's, that's terrifying. Well, let me just sit here real quick before I click on anything. Um, da -da 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 -da. fuck, uh, fuck it, let's rest. Okay. Um, I don't know if that's because I rested or if the light has changed, but that sword was not gold before. It was all brown and dark. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to not loot this. Ring of the Sun's Firstborn. Um, let me just have a little look-see here. Mm, uh, da -da 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 -da. Ring of the Sun's Firstborn boosts miracles. Lord Gwyn's Firstborn. Um, is Lord Gwyn like the final boss of this game? I keep seeing that name everywhere. Um, who inherited the sunlight once wore this ancient ring, boosts the strength of miracles, not using them. Lord Gwyn's Firstborn was a god of war. Was his name Kratos? But his foolishness led to a loss of the annals and rescinding of his deific status. Today, even his name is not known. Okay. Hang on, what's that? Dusk Crown Ring. I really should read all these again, you know. Dusk of Ulasile. Da -da 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 -da. Dark Moon Deity and Lord of Gwyn's Lord of Sunlight. Additional magic slots. Okay. Well, anything can be done here. Okay, I've seen a few statues with weird looking like armaments and things, but this this looks like it should be a thing. Hmm. Well, it is what it is. I can always come back. I can always come back. Ooh, at least I've got this. It's a bit of a pain having to use this staircase every time. Every time I die, but uh... Right, okay. Let's see about getting up to that motherfucker. Uh, up to 
that statue. I pushed this counterclockwise for it to go down. If I push it clockwise, does that just simply go up? No matter what. I think it's got three levels, this, hasn't it? Because it, this isn't connected with the upper one. Or is it? Hang on. I want to connect with that. Oh, it is. Oh, sorry, no, up there, that's what I meant. Um, well, let's see if we can push it higher. Um, hang on, what did I say? Clockwise. Did I say clockwise or counterclockwise? I'm, I'm, my brain ain't working today. Yes, that's what I wanted. I want to try this sword on some motherfuckers. Even though it's sort of slightly dex, the fire should carry me. Okay, chest over there. Can I go up? Ow! Fuck off! Hang on, hang on, he's above my head. I think I said this last episode, didn't I? How it's kind of a shame I got the Black Knight Sword in a way. It's so good, everything just sucks in comparison. Like, I mean, this damage already. Ooh. Oh, you know what? That is not bad. <laughs> That's not bad. I need to... Ow, ow, fuck. I keep forgetting that other weapons attack way faster, so yeah, the damage doesn't compare to the Black Knight Sword. But that is maxed, and it's a slow, powerful greatsword. Whereas this, I, it's weak as fuck compared to the Black Knight Sword, but I can slash for days. I'm gonna keep using this. I didn't create a boss weapon for no reason, you know what I'm saying? I created it to use the fucking thing. Mm. I wonder what other boss weapons that there are that I can't see yet. Uh, right, okay, I've got to be careful here, fucking hell. Let's not get carried away. I'm not looking forward to going back to the land of the fucking painting, by the way. Oh. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? Are you trying to say- are you trying to tell me I've got to do some weird fucking... Counter-Strike source bunny hopping around this thing here? I did not see that pillar. Ah, uh, shit. What do I do? Hang on. Um... See, that's open there. Is that a stairs there? That's a fucking stairs right there. How the fuck do you get to that stairs? Oh, oh, do you jump on there, down into there? Yeah, yes, that's it. I'm a Tomb Raider professional. I know, I know platforming when I see it. I hope you all aren't um, disappointed that I've decided not to kill Cat Lady. You know. But it seems like a valid choice. Uh, she, she's friendly. She's got a cool tail. You know. Fucking loud cars outside my house. I'm not a furry, by the way. I'm, I just, I'm just commenting that it's cool that she's got a tail, okay? And she's friendly and she asked me to leave the place in peace. <laughs> if I die now, go fuck yourself. Just in every way, go fuck yourself. Fucking hell, man. Fucking Jesus, man. That's what happens to you. God, fuck you. You know, the, yeah, I made the right choice with the, the Chaos Blade Katana versus this. Because that was, yeah, that was only deck scaling and this is mostly fire with some strength scaling. This was the only choice, really. I'd love to do a Katana playthrough, though. Um, let me know any other information about the Chaos um, Blade, what's it called? Chaos Blade Katana. Um, any info, because I've decided not to get it this playthrough, so you, you feel free to tell me about it if it's any good. Did I really just come all this way for a potion? For a potion? Um, I think we're done here. Okay, well, done. I'll, uh, 
I'll go human in the painted world. I do have like 13 humanity or something, so I've got plenty to die with. Um, fucking hell, man! Jesus, these motherfuckers. That is what happens. You know, it's funny, I've gone strength mostly. I haven't gone full strength, otherwise I would go crazy strength and just uh, wield those like massive greatswords that I can't even wield. Um, I'm more of a hybrid mix, but I'm definitely slanted towards strength more than dex. Um, it's kind of a shame. I love a good, powerful greatsword, but there's something special also. In a different way, to being able to slash fast as shit. Especially with it with quite a high damage fast slash, because then not only is it fast, but you you are also stumbling motherfuckers. Because that's the drawback, isn't it, of the fast stuff? Usually it's weak enough that it doesn't stumble, and then you're you're just getting hit between attacks. Anyway, I'm talking shit and I'm waffling. Let's go down. It's not connected, is it? No. Right. Down we go. Uh, counterclockwise. Ah, oh, right, it's the same direction as the, the way the stairs are facing. So the, the, the stairs are going down counterclockwise, so I need to push it counterclockwise to go down. Makes sense. I'm waffling. I'm scared. I tell you, it, it, it's about five days-ish. Five to six days between I, uh, recordings of these episodes, if you see what I'm saying. And in the days leading up, I'm worried that I'm going to be so rusty I'm, I've forgotten everything. It's kind of why I've started doing a lot of your filler shit between episodes. I'll give it like two or three days before I like come on and do all some of your filler shit. And it's to bridge the gap between episodes, time-wise, so I'm not getting too rusty. Um, that said, I'm still terrified. Oh, fuck off, would you? I'm terrified because I just simply don't want to fail, you know what I mean? You look how fast that is! Okay, with the weak enemies, they stumble. That's just great. That makes me want to use a faster curved weapon like this on weak enemies and then switch to big powerful enemies for uh, as weapons for stronger enemies. They can't do anything. He's just rolling around in circles and it doesn't save him. Oh, that would... Oh, fuck. Oh, God, no. That running attack kills them with your Black Knight Sword. That's one bonus. Look at him slow walking towards me. Can I, um, for a start, get that loot? But secondly, fuck off. I want to get into the painting while they're attacking me. Okay. I'll just let him run away. Let's get this loot and get in that painting fast. I'm hoping I'm invincible as I go into this painting. Run away. Good. Right, okay, we're back again. Um, so... As you saw in that little list thing I made at the start, my three contending areas for an invader are the bridge where the undead dragon is. Um, that seems most likely to me, because it's... It's not the bit of bridge that leads to the boss, that's underneath the, the top where the undead dragon is, but you see what I'm saying. Um, the the bridge leading to the boss. Because from what other people have told me, most invasions in this game tend to happen kind of close to your boss area. So like two-thirds into the zone sort of a thing. So maybe either that big circular room or immediately behind it, the, uh, the bridge that leads to the boss. And the only other place I can imagine is either down in the fucking Roly Boy hell, and if there is an invader down there, you can go fuck yourself, I'm never doing it. Or the graveyard that was weirdly empty. There was like a couple of small... There was like a brave soul and then something else that was kind of minor. 
and that graveyard was otherwise empty, weirdly empty. Um, so I need to. In fact, let me just quick. Let me quickly try fire damage on these little shit munches and see how good it is. I, I should realize by now if fire is strong against zombies. You know, sixty. I mean, I can't tell if just these monsters are weak. You know. That seemed about as high damage as uh, against the painted guardians, so maybe they're not weak to fire. Oh, did I really, for shizzle, just get a, a soft humanity? Because I haven't killed the area boss, and I'm not going to. I can farm like eight more human, or well, seven or eight more humanity or something in this area if I wanted to. I completely forgot about that. Ooh. It's a shame I've got to rest at the fire and respawn enemies to go human. Uh, I didn't consider that, of course. If I leave the area boss alive, I can farm 10 humanity. That's cool. What What a lucky little moment. Um, I'll tell you what. I had it in my head that I needed to go, uh, to have two humanity, go human and then upgrade your fire. I don't particularly care about the fire, so that soft humanity literally pays for the invasion in this area if I don't die. Do it. Um, should I switch back to my Black Knight sword whilst I've got a rare moment of being human and I don't want to die? Should I go back to what I know? The, the familiar, or shall I stick with this? It seems high enough damage against these little shit munchers, and it's it's nice and fast. Honestly, as long as I'm stumbling enemies, I much prefer a fast weapon. I really do. It's just so much easier. It's a two-shot kill as well. You know what? I didn't consider. Upgrading these? Can you upgrade the boss weapons? Like, plus two, three, four, five. Dude, I'm just thinking, already the damage of this weapon is contending- Fuck. I've got 13 flasks from the last bonfire, so it's good. I, I, I don't have to worry. I didn't even consider upgrading. All uh, With my Black Knight Sword at max, this weapon is already contending with that. Just through- its attacks being faster, the damage sort of is comparable with the Black Knight Sword, and this isn't upgraded at all. Bruh, if this can be upgraded, this might end up shitting on the Black Knight Sword. Against anything that's not resistant to fire, if you see what I mean. I'm guessing in the Demon Ruins this will just be a shit weapon, but you get my eye you get my point. This could shit on all other weapons. Oh, Right, I don't want spiky boys to notice me. I should probably take the helm off to make the most of looking human for once. Don't get all upset, Mr. Spiky Boys. I mean, it's right here. It's one of my three places of interest that I'm, I wrote down. No one's after me. I could just sprint past the spiky boys. They are slow as shit, like. And there's the, the round root. Whoa. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's just kill these real fast. Dude, the fact it's a two shot kill is crazy. Uh, there's another little shit muncher down there. Um, the round room I was on about is literally right there. I could just. Uh, no, let's go here. Before I rile up all your spiky boys. And then we'll go to the circular room. Uh, I'm tempted to try killing the undead dragon, by the way. Even once I've done an invasion in the area, you know. Let's kill that shit. Oh, there's two. Oh my god. A two-shot kill is just... It's almost too strong for a fast weapon. I feel like it should take like three or four hits, you know what I mean? Ow! Oh, well, I failed that, didn't I? The fucking range of this is crazy, dude. Right, let's use one of my heals. 
for a, for a curved sword, a fast curved sword with high fucking damage, its range is more than the Black Knight sword. Have you noticed? I'm hitting them from fucking miles away. Dude, look at the fire animation. And didn't it say that this is a chaos weapon as well? I bet if I sunk like five humanity or some shit into the weapon, it'd get way stronger even. Even stronger. Dude. Like right, the loot that I got was on the edge down here, wasn't it? Like a couple of weird bodies on the edge and shit. Yeah. Well, it looks like there's no invasion in this area. <gasps> oh, fuck! Oh, well. Oh my god, this guy's huge. Okay. Right, I found it. I'm glad I came here first before riling up the spear boys. I want to go back up there and fight if I can. Don't backstab me, don't backstab me. It's too annoying and shitty around here. Right, this is open enough. Okay, let's fight him here. Oh, well, that's a headache. I've got fire too, motherfucker. If you want to do this fire thing, I'll fuck you up. That failed completely. Oh, right, is he, uh... Hang on, hang on. I don't want to be down there. Is this guy resistant to fire, I'm guessing? That's it. Oh, well, yes and no. I think he's resistant to fire, but my pyromancy is full now, remember? So I'm doing fucking crazy damage with my pyromancy. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> My fight. Oh, by the way, um, I learned uh, between episodes what Fire Surge does. It's a fucking flamethrower and it's fucking beast mode. It's what it is. Let's finish him with style. Oh, he is resistant to fire. Right. Okay. Um, you know what, I'll commit with the fire weapon, even though he's, he's, he's um, resistant to fire. It's just easier. Fuck it. It's hilarious that I'm finishing him with something he's resistant to, but... Fuck it, I, I can't be arsed changing. In fact, can I, uh... Oh! <laughs> Did I get him? Oh, no, I didn't. Nearly. That's how- that's how high damage my pl newly found plus five pyromancy is. It's fucking great. I'm killing motherfuckers resistant to fire with it. It's so strong. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Dude, the fucking- the combo attacks with this sword! I figured there'd be a maximum number of attacks in a combo, not just a thousand. Get slapped. Oh. <laughs> King Jeremiah was his name. Hang on. There we go. Why does the message pop up multiple times? Let's get it. Retrieve the remaining power of Dark Spirit. Humanity acquired. Ooh, plus one. Cool. Notched whip. Ooh. Will that be down the bottom? Notched whip. I do like the whip moveset. I've got to say. Um... In, in like two or three episodes ago, back when I was still in the garden, and I, I tested a few weapons, I, I did like the feel of the whip. It made me feel like Indiana Jones and just, I don't know, it's fun. Um, it's weaker than your regular whip. Whip with sharp spikes. Only slightly effective against our, hang on. Right, the regular whip is ineffective against armor and tough scales, formidable with skin. This one is only slightly effective against armor and tough scales. Right, set. So oh. Ah. 300 on your bleeding. I getcha. Right. Ooh. Um. I think I remember a comment in, like, episode two of this playthrough. Somebody said bleeding in this game is, like, shit compared to uh, Elden Ring. And bleeding isn't really a viable thing. Let me know if you would. If, uh... Bleed is cool. Well, well, I'll tell you what, I, I kind of want to kill the undead dragon anyway, and then I'm pretty much done here since I'm not killing the area boss. Um, hmm. 
And you know what I said, but between ep this episode and next one, in addition to farming more souls so I can upgrade more weapons again. Oh, they're moving. Shit, they're moving. In addition to that, I might come back here if I've got like six, seven or eight more humanity I can farm. Great. You know what I mean? Fantastic. Dude, that one humanity I just got is, uh... If descriptions are to be believed, I need to go up. If descriptions are to be believed, I, uh... I'm now stronger, since I'm on plus one humanity with this thing. Where's the bird, man? There should be a bird around here somewhere. Where's the birds? There should be a birdman down in there. Where is he? Oh, fuck it. Um, okay, so... I kind of want to... Oh, fuck it. No, it's, it. I've committed. I want to get that loot before anything else happens. Right, okay, he's moving. He's moving. Blood shield. Nice. Let's, let's back off. Back off. Back off. Back the fuck off. Um, I would rather not die and lose my human... Fuck it up. He shouldn't come this far. I think I'm safe here. I, uh... I don't want to die and lose my humanity before I go back to Anor Londo. Um... Because I want to see if there's an invader there as well. Um... Does he... Oh god, itchy nose. Does he puke down to the side here? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He's turning his head. He's turning his head. Oh, I see. This guy's a fucking idiot. Look at his face. He's got a gormless face, hasn't he? Look at him. Right, so... Okay. He, he can he can spew his shit on one of these three sides. Can I just run up and smack him in the face? Or the claw. Let's attack the claw. Back off, though. Let's take it nice and slow. Whoa, 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 he didn't... Okay, he's got regular attacks as well. Let's not get carried away. I've used most of my fire. I tell you what, uh, let's. I oh got itchy nose, man. <laughs> Run away! Good. That was good. That was good. That was like a third of my uh, fire surge. I love this flamethrower because it it tends to. Uh, what you call it? It tends to stumble weaker, like medium enemies, like those skinny demons. Which is great, because I can stand there and basically just being a flamethrower. Run away! Sorry for the shoddy camera work. That, okay, I meant to flamethrow him. I know dragons are weak to lightning. I'm guessing, being a fucking dragon, they they are resistant to fire normally, but this is an undead dragon. So I'm guessing they might have different um, strengths and weaknesses to regular living dragons. Look at the damage, man. Look at that, man. I can sit here and flamethrow the fucking thing. <laughs> That's great. Honestly, I might prefer the fire surge to any other fire spell. That's just fun. What am I looking at? Is that a second undead dragon? Ooh, nice. Okay, there's two undead dragons. Oh, I'm not going to say no. They're easy enough to kill. Can I, uh... I've used on most of my fire. Uh, I I've got 51,000 runes, by the way. I should probably level up. Um, people have been complaining in, in comment form that I just run around regularly with all sorts of shit. I can lose souls, humanity. 
Um, that's how confident I am. Right, well, I can't lock onto this motherfucker. Is it not an undead dragon? I can't tell what I'm looking at here. It's moving. Is this the ass of a dragon? I don't even know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, I have no idea. Let's go down and uh, get out of here, I guess. You know, in all the upgrade materials, I noticed, um, of all of these things, there's a few I haven't even used yet. Red is for fire and chaos. I wonder if that's used on my new fire sword. Um, but there's also, like, dragon and demon. Uh, oh! Demon titanite. Plus five reinforce. Weapons born from special souls. That sounds like boss weapons to me. Oh, I wonder if they're special, kind of like your twinkling titanite. But even more special. And that's the one that I saw earlier that confused me. Dragon scale reinforced dragon weapons. I don't even know what the fuck that means. I haven't got anything, I think, dragon related. Like a dragon spear or anything. Um, let me know if I'm wrong there, but... I haven't seen any, or seen any sign of a dragon weapon anywhere. Oh, if I can get out of here without pissing off that dragon. That'd be great. I might have just killed uh, this dragon's wife, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, fuck me, not these guys again. Backstab. Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, I see. I see. What happens if I two-hand I mean, clearly your weapon's going to be even stronger. Two-hand plus a humanity. That that was a one-shot running kill. Bruh. That was a good thing. Ow, oh, fuck off. How far away can they fire from them? Uh, is this a one-handed running kill now? Now that I've got the humanity. No, it's not. It's close, though. Dude. One of the biggest strengths of your Black Knight Sword is your running attack. Basically, one-shot killing lesser enemies. This does the same, and it's not even fucking upgraded yet. Dude, it's not even upgraded. And I'm fuck. It's, it's basically... As near as makes no difference as effective as the Black Knight Sword already, and that's maxed out. How fucking strong is this weapon? I'm lo I'm f looking forward to seeing what all the other boss weapons are, if this is so fucking strong. Or is this like... Oh, it wouldn't surprise me if it turns out I've got lucky and this is actually pretty much the best boss f sword. Or boss weapon. That I happen to have gone with first. You big ugly motherfucker. Right, this guy is either we uh, resistant to fire or this sword is actually just shit. You know, that wouldn't surprise me if it turns out these all these undead up and killing and those painted guardians are painting guardians. They're actually weak to fire. Because now the weapon is doing fuck all against this guy. Do the overhand attack. Come on. Overhand attack. Damn it. Yeah, he is, he is definitely resistant to that. The, uh, the power attack is, like, the same damage as the light attack? Dude, I'm fucking hitting him from so far away. The Black Knight Sword would not hit him from that range. 
You know what I mean? Okay, no, 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 no. T I take back what I said. It's so fast. It's so fucking fast. Oh, this guy doesn't have the strength of one of those big golden boys. Fucking hell! I take back everything I said. Jesus, it's fast. It just feels weak because one light attack isn't comparable to the Black Knight sword. Dude. I need to stop thinking like it's a slow, high damage greatsword. No, it's a fast, swingy, repeated attacks sword. Um, well, am I, am I, I haven't like pissed off Cat Lady by killing her minion in the form of that invader ever. I, I don't want to fight her. Hello. She's, I mean, look at that. How can you, how can you want to kill that tail? Okay, so. Let's just get out of here, I guess. I assume I'm safe just getting the fuck out. Okay. Oh, fucking hell. Um. Is it a one-shot kill on these guys? No. Either these are stronger, or it is actually str uh, fire is good against the undead. If re if this were real life, I'm pretty sure undead would be weak to fire. Isn't that usually the way of things? Dude. You know what's even better with this running attack? You can do a follow-up light attack fast as hell. Before they can even, like, retaliate. Okay. Dude, if you ever want to farm throwing knives, this is the fucking place. Okay, cool. Invasion done. Bonfire down there lit. I feel like I'm missing something with that room down there, but I'm not sure what. That statue. I wonder if I can, you can do like a prey emote or something to it. It, it. it looked too interactable, did that statue down there. But I'll, uh, I'll hold off. I think it might be time to run through the area, see if there's any invasions in Anor Londo, and then fight on Steam. And I'll be honest with you, I'm tempted to use this sword. Um, see if he's weak to fire or something. Uh, I need to rest at a fire, really. Um. Huh. Do I go down or? <sighs> I've got to. I've got to go back because that's a rested fireplace. Um. Yeah. Fuck it. I'll jump cut to what fit for you guys, and I might grab a drink whilst I'm uh, away. Right, we're back, and I was just considering actually using the humanity we've got there to kindle this to 20. It's at 15, which is cool, don't get me wrong. And I was thinking actually that might just be enough. Because if this is a chaos weapon and I'm slightly stronger with that one humanity there, I don't want to lose it. Um, but at the same time, can you put a price on permanently raising it to 20, uh, 20 flasks? Mm, ah, fuck it, let's do it. It's a permanent thing, and I get 20 flasks from this fire. I can always pop another humanity if I want to. Um, I've got a choice to make here. I've got the runes to level up at least once, maybe twice. But also, I could save it and buy a lot of upgrade materials over it. What's his face? Like twinkling things? Um, because there was at least one weapon that required twinkling things. And also shields. Um, some of these, these special cresty ones that I've been using, require twinkling titanite. Uh, you can't see it here, but the, trust me, they require twinkling, not ordinary normal shards. And you can buy those from him. Um, I'll tell you what, I think I've got enough to level only once with quite a few remaining, so let's level up. Um, honestly. 
is, would it be stupid of me to go half and half between strength and dex just because I want to start using this sword more? Or is it already too late? I feel like these stats are quite close. Strength and dex. It's not like my dex is all the way down on like 10 or some shit. I raised it to 18 so I could use pyromancers and shit. So they're not that different. Um, fuck, man. I don't know. Uh, even my Black Knight sword has like, pr like decent-ish dex scaling, by the way, if I remember right. Um, I'll just check real quick. Oh, it won't be on there, will it? Uh, there. Uh, see, it's got its E dex scaling, but it does increase damage with dex as well as strength. So it's not like putting a point in dex is a complete loss for my regular weapon. It's something. Um, fuck, man. This is definitely a hybrid playthrough. Defo. Um, for now, I'll just put another point in stamina, I think. Oh, shit, I can, put, I can afford two. Oh. Uh, mm. You know what? I've been feeling like my damage, especially when you throw pyromancy into the mix, is high enough for now. And I did say last episode I want to get to 30 stamina before I even consider any other stats, so let's do that. Stamina is so important. I'll, uh, I'll continue with zero humanity as well. Right, let's zip back and... Uh, I'll quickly check out Black's Mr. Blacksmith. Um, and just see about upgrading the, the Fury Sword a bit more. I can see myself finishing the game with this. Um, yeah. I'll tell you what I'm going to do b before the next episode. Like I said, I've gone halfway there already um, in, in terms of upgrading one of every single type of item in the game to plus 10. I'll go the rest of the way before next episode and, do, and actually finish that. Um, I reckon there's still five or six different types of shit to up upgrade to plus 10. Um, but I think I won't look at the list of boss weapons until next... I'll, I'll, I'm not going to look at that screen until next episode, because I don't want to spoil myself off episode. Um, yeah. I'd probably make like two or three more of them, if clearly they, there weren't some missing from that list. Uh... I wouldn't be surprised if there's some sort of a shield, you know. I don't think I saw any sort of boss spear there. There's probably a spear somewhere. Uh, what else? We've got the sword. There was a catalyst, wasn't there, on that list? Uh, what else was there? Oh, yeah, the katana. What else was there? Was there an axe on that list? Mm. I should probably rest that fire down there. Because it's a hell of a run back if I die to Ornstein now. Right. F uh, f should I just go for the boss? I fucking hate these these bastards. They're, they're so annoying. Um, huh. Shall I just go for it? Uh, and shall I go for it with this? Weapon over the dark, the, the Black Knight Sword. I'm just thinking it's so much faster to get a hit in. Like, if you want to stick the jab and then back off again, like I am going to with Big Boy. It's so much easier with a fast weapon. Less damage, I'll grant you, but, you know, you get the idea. Uh, poise, that's... Do I, do I care about poise versus the, the boss? I don't think so. Is there anything that's more helpful in the middle of a fight? I, I don't want to equip that super duper ring yet. Uh, defense versus physical, not really relevant since I won't be taking a single hit in the boss fight. Um. How many attunement slots do you get for the Dark Moon Seance Ring? Because if you get like two more slots, I can equip another powerful pyromancy. Um, I should probably just throw that on. 
I can, I can see how many slots I've got. Uh, hang on, can I see? Da, 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 da. Yeah, that. Oh, you can see, right. Uh, oh, it gives you one more slot. Okay. Hmm. Before this game is over, I will probably buy all your fire spells at some point. Fuck it, let's just keep the wolf ring on. Um, oh, even getting past these is a pain. Uh, fucking... They've got such a range on them. It's such a pain. I'm worried that... I did so good in the, the first attempt at this, you know? That I'm actually worried. I'm gonna suck complete ass the second time round. Let's go, 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 go. There's nothing for it, just run to the boss door. Over here. Fuck off. I knew I'd take one hit. Fuck man, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off, fuck off. I probably want a flask real fast. I've got 20 flasks, that's fine. Go. And get in the door. Fast, 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 fast. Right. Let's, um, I'm gonna do the same thing as last time. God help me. Whoa! Jesus Christ. I'm gonna f chaos fireball both of them together if I can. Eesh. Fucking hell, man! Okay, I don't remember him doing these Jedi fucking zips. Oh my god. He did not do this last time. He did not do this last time. What is this, man? I do not remember him doing those zippy boys fat last time at all. That That's weird. Dude, why is this so much harder? Fucking hell, man. Okay, this is, this is weirdly harder. What? Why didn't he do this last time at all? I I'm confused. I swear if boss fights get harder the second time round. What is this? Right, I need to... I can't... Right, last time I got splash damage by fireballing both at once. This fucker... I've just got to get on his own. Let's use the pillars on hit the small one as well. Oof. Maybe I'm getting... Is because I'm getting too far away? Is that a thing? This is bad, man. Dude. I'll try and get him on a fucking... I need to get behind the pillar so the spiky boy doesn't fucking hit me as well. That didn't hit, that was some bullshit. I tell you what, let's not run away as much. I've nearly got him. Fuck! Fuck, I had to, I had to take that hit. Right, he's dead. Fuck. Fuck you, you tiny little bastard. He's, that was way harder the second time round, man. What the fuck? Get wrecked, you speedy little zippy forward bastard. Okay, I missed the detail that he actually hit his friend in the face. I missed that last time. Right. All is good. As long as I get behind a pillar. Once I'm behind the pillar, it's gravy. Um, I might as well use all my fire shit. 
Uh, at least my Chaos Storm, that's like the main thing. <laughs> this is just cheese tactic. I might even, I've got 13 flasks, I might just want to heal just so I'm full and I can take extra hittage. As you do. Lord knows you've got to take extra hittage. I thought that might hit me. Ow. Right, I can't get that close. Understood. Well, I hit him. For nothing. No, I didn't. Then my arms are an absolute fucking waste. Right, okay. I think this is just a case of, uh... Sword it. I've got some Chaos Storm usage left, actually. You know what, shall I try? Um, fire. Uh, you've got to get close for this uh, shit to work. Um, I might wait for him to swing or whatever and just try and get a couple of, a couple of hits in. You know what? It's, it's the tiniest one notch of damage, but damage is damage, you know what I'm saying? Look at that. That's not bad. Fuck. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, he's on my ass, he's on my ass! Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is, uh, tense. I just need to take a breather. That's not the worst damage I've ever seen. You know, it's it's not great. And I've used half of my flamethrower. But it's not inconsiderable damage. It gives me a good starting point. I need, I need him to do the double swing though, the slow one. What is that? Hmm. That's, you know, I'm actually wasting that. <laughs> I barely hit him. Not bad. My biggest problem is actually hitting the fucking guy. Uh, this might be the biggest hammer I've ever seen, <laughs> by the way. Thor ain't got shit on this thunder god. Fuck. Dude, I've almost gotten him half health with some shitty flamethrower attack. Swing at me, motherfucker. Is this the meta tactic for this guy? I mean, is just a basic bitch. Want his hammer away. God damn it. Oh, what? Okay, pillar, 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 pillar. Watch out, watch out, watch out. You ain't nothing, Mr. Golden Bitch. Well, I've got some use of Chaos Storm left. I might as well try, even though it's super fucking slow. I need to pick my time well. Got the, the camera shake, though, dude. Look at that fucking damage! Oh my god, that fucking Chaos Storm. That wasn't even a full use of Chaos Storm, by the way. That was like two-thirds or something. Oh god. Oh. Right, let's two-hand the sword. Why the fuck am I one-handing it? Dude. <laughs> this guy ain't shit. You ain't nothing. You golden bee-arch. I want him to do that slam, that seems to be his slowest thing. There you go. Fuck you. One more attack. In the foot! In the foot! Oh, soul of Smaug. Oh, in the foot. Humanity as well. Ooh. Oh. Oh, right, this shit has uh, fallen. I see an elevator. Two elevators. You know, I said... 
last episode and I've been replying in comments. I know in my heart of hearts I could have one shot this boss last time if I if I really wanted to and I didn't start fucking around out of fear of missing invasions and shit like this. And uh, that just reaffirms my beliefs. I, I was fortunate enough to learn the cheese tactics first time round. Now the zippy boy was a bit better this time round it felt like. Um, but I, I think I've learned in, in this second playthrough as well of this fight that he only does that zippy attack when you're too far away so if you keep him close enough he just does regular stabs so I shouldn't have kept running away as far as I was I think um, anyway this looks to be the exact same statue that's below by the way um, although it is it's not directly below it's much further in that direction Yes, but it's kind of like the same statue has been risen up. Hello, statue. Right, okay. I'm going to up my sound a bit. Because that was quiet. Okay, you've got a lifty boy on the left. And the right. Dude. This sword, though. The problem with the Black Knight sword, it, it's... As with all great sword, it's a bit slow. I can get maybe one hit before a boss then wallops me in the face. Hello, fire. Thank fuck for that. that this is a much better fire. Honestly? It's a shame, right? Because between episodes, I farm so... M it takes so long to farm the souls. To buy all your upgrade materials and so on. That... It pains me to level up with these souls instead of, uh, like, buying shit. But in episode earned souls, I will level up with, because that's, that's your main purpose. Now, I've got your stamina. I am sorry, but I am sorely tempted to start putting points in decks and just embrace the hybrid build. So I've got a bit of strength, a bit of decks. Um, let me just look at my weapons. See what benefits from a hybrid build. This does slightly. Or, uh, well, no, not slightly at all. If I put points in decks, that's greatly helping this weapon. Um, anything else? You've got your cursed weapon. That's just strength, so that doesn't benefit. Black Knight Sword. Sl teeniest, tiniest bit of benefit, so it does help. Uh, Schweihander. Uh, as a fire weapon, nothing. Mm, anything else? That... The side sword works, but I'll be using that up to make a boss weapon soon. Um, mm, nope. See, there's no point putting points in decks if it only helps this one weapon. I could use a whip. D&D, uh, &D, that's deck scaling. Mm, Divine Halberd, that's got some decks. In fact, that uses more dex than strength, so that's good. Uh, spears tend to be balanced or dex leaning, so that's good if I want to use a spear as well. Mm, axes. Dex is better than strength again for axes too. Your thrusting swords? Easy. Again, okay, I, I, I seem to have missed the fucking info here. That most weapons that I've upgraded actually require decks above strength. Hmm, and I like a stock as well. Katana is only decks. You know what? I am gonna do exactly that. I'm gonna start putting points in decks and just go hybrid. Um, if anything, this gives me an excuse to try out the katana a little bit more. <laughs> um. See, putting a point in strength does absolutely nothing uh, for the sword. Even though it's got E strength scaling. Huh. Huh. I guess even E strength scaling is kind of weak as shit because it's not even going up one point of damage. Um. Fuck it, hybrid. So many weapons use both strength and deck scaling. It's not that big a deal to go half and half, you know? It excludes me from super high dex weapons or super high strength weapons, but I'll never use them anyway. Fuck it, dex. 
and I'll I'll be going up to 30 health. Uh, I think I want at least one more point in dex, and then I'll just sink points into health for a little while. Okay. Haven't had an invader yet, by the way. That's been in the back of my mind. I'm still human. After a boss fight. Hmm. Uh, what the fuck am I looking for here? Hang on, I've lost all train of thought. I was, I was looking at something. Uh, hmm. Well, let's just continue and search the area. I want to go back to Bo uh, Blacksmith at some point very soon, though, and see what that soul will give me now. Uh, sorry, I'm talking shit. I could already see one of the two items. Uh, yeah. Da -da -da. Well, so I might as well look at it. Um, where is it? So I've got Sif, Smaug. That's what I just got. Uh, yeah. I'm wondering if there are any uh, boss weapons where I don't care about either of them, so I'll just use them for souls. Hmm. Okay. Right. I will read that real quick. Smaug. Soul of Smaug, the executioner who guards the cathedral in the forsaken city of Anorlondo. Special beings have special souls. Use the soul of this eerily gleeful executioner to acquire a huge amount of souls or create a weapon. Cool. Cool. Oh, I've got a door. What else have we got? Uh, are these both the elevators up? Dude. Smaug likes to smash shit up, eh? Fucking hell. Alright, before we go through Magical Door, let's just check the vicinity. I'm curious how much Anno Londo is left, actually. Ooh! Helm of Favor, Embrace, Armor of Favor, Favor, Favor. That's not Golden Boy's armor, is it? Kind of looks like Golden Boy. Da -da 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 -da. It is! Lautrec was his name. Golden Boy! It's kind of weird that you don't get his armor from him himself. Helm of Lautrec, the Embrace, representing the goddess Fina's love. During his solitude, he forsook everything, for he believed in the goddess's love for him. Everything else the same. It does look cool, but he was such an arsehole killing that firekeeper, giving me the old run around, that his, his armor can fuck off even. I don't want to wear it. The goddess ar goddess's arms wrap around it as if to embrace the wearer. I wonder if putting this on is, is relevant somehow. Yeah, okay. Interesting. I mean, his armor, uh, you know, it won't be gold once I'm done shitting on it. It'll be brown. Evil bastard. Killing an innocent firekeeper. Right, let's uh, go through the door of destiny. Unless I've missed something, there is nowhere else to go in Anor Londo, so this is it. Whatever's through this door progresses the game. I'm scared. Let's rest again. 20. Do I have any more soul items to use? Because it'd be a shame to die now. Lose my humanity, but that goes without saying. But also the 26,000 runes I've got. That'd be a shame to waste. No, I don't. Okay. Uh... How many souls required? 2,400. Oh, hopefully I can kill one enemy before I die. <laughs> I'm level up. Oh, that's a good point though. I just killed the area boss, didn't I? I uh, having a boss soul, that must count as the area boss, so there won't be any more invasions. Hmm. Not to mention, like, the, all the soft humanity I could have farmed. Fuck. Fuck it. There's only so much farming I can do between episodes. Hello, big woman. Damn. That's one... Uh, to quote Seamus Finnegan in Harry... And overcome much chosen undead. Hello? Come hither, child. Hello! 
damn. I mean, I'm not saying nothing, but, 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 but look at those bazongas. <laughs> damn, son. That's a big woman to quote Seamus Finnegan, I believe, from Harry Potter. That's one big woman. These aren't doors, are they? Very, uh, Egyptian style in here. Oh, thanks for the, f the info, by the way, that these Silver Knights and the Black Knights are actually the same dudes, but the Black Ones were Silver Knights that were, like, burned by the chaos -y evil, fiery shit. Um, which I guess also made them stronger. But that's why they look so similar. The Silver Knights and the Black Knights are the same dudes. Anyway, I'm getting distracted from Massive Woman. Neil. Um. Okay, I will, I will but just give me a second here. Um. I guess there's no other choice I've got to kneel. If you see a woman this big, best to kneel. Oh, chosen undead, I am Guinevere. Gwyn. Daughter of Lord Gwyn. Right. Queen of sunlight. Since the day father is formed it obscureth, I have awaited thee. I bequeath the Lord Vessel to thee. The Lord Vessel? The Lord Vessel? A cheap and unlocked Lord Vessel. And beseech thee, succeed Lord Gwyn, and inheriteth the fire of our world. Thou shalt endeth this eternal twilight, and avert further undead sacrifices. <sighs> okay, did she, did she low-key just tell me to kill her father? That's kind of what people mean when they say, succeed a certain someone. Succeed my father, Lord Gwyn. That sounds like kill him to me. And she did just say his form, uh, obscureth, like he, he lost a physical form, so I wonder if the final boss of this game is Lord Gwyn and he's going to be like a ghost or some shit that's going to require a special weapon. Well... I mean, Jesus. Oh, chosen undead, thou hast. Oh, is it the same? Oh! Huh! You know, if I wasn't such a loyal person, I would so kneel before those bazongazongas and enter this covenant. But I'm, I'm, I'm a loyal soldier. I'm loyal to my lady spiders. Since the day Father is formed, it obscureth. I have Does she just say the same thing, yeah? Once living, now undead, and a fitting heir to Father Gwyn thou art, O chosen undead, heir. and beseech thee. Here we go. Succeed Lord Gwyn. And inheriteth the fire of our world. So succeed Lord Gwyn, become the heir of his shit. Of metal, yea, indeed. We had felt the warmth of fire, its radiance and the life it sustained. This is super Without dark, by the way. All can be a frigid and frightful dark. Speaking of dark, this is very dark. I can barely see her on my screen, but hey. Anything new for me? Please. Father's role. So we're assuming Lord Gwyn's role. So I'm going to become like the Lord of Fire. Okay. Oh! Oh! Ah. I think that's why you need to keep talking. Okay, next order of business. Go to Mr. Snake, and I'll speak to him. Please, thou shalt seek. Okay, I'm glad. To, well, uh, uh, if I hit Enter Covenant, I want it to give me the option, and then I'll say no, and then it, it will have been added to my list of bonfires, I believe. Right there, you. There you go. Achievement unlocked. Covenant. Princess's guard. Hopefully she's not disappointed when I say this. Okay. Please. Okay. Father's rule thou king seek. Okay, now very cool. Go forth, chosen undead. Your mouth isn't moving. Be one with the sunlight forevermore. I don't know why your mouth isn't moving. And your eyes aren't open. Very nice to meet you. I mean damn. I don't know why, but she's reminding me of the Sphinx from the movie Gods of Egypt. Don't know why, because that's a giant, like, monster. But, uh, yeah. 
I wish it was brighter in here so I could get a better view of her. I'll be honest. But, uh, yeah, okay, very cool. Let's read that Lord Vessel shit. Lord Vessel. Lord Ve Is it a thing? A key item is a point. It is. Soul... Hang on. Lord Vessel. Soul Vessel granted to the chosen undead. Can I put all your boss souls in here? Is that a thing? It is a vessel. For souls. Lord Vessel bestowed upon the chosen undead who is destined to succeed Lord Gwyn. Succeeding her father... Why can't she succeed her own father? Technically, she should be heir, shouldn't she? The Chosen Undead is granted the art of warp... What? The Chosen Undead is granted the art of warping between bonfires. To open the final door... I'm guessing that's your final game boss door that it's on about there. Place this vessel on the Firelink Altar. I don't remember any altar. And fill it with powerful souls. I'm guessing here that doesn't mean all the souls I've got for your boss weapons, because I've been I could have I could have just been using those up left, right, and center. Do you know what I mean? It must be special bosses. And I'm wondering if that if those golden light doors that blocked my way, there's one down in Demon Ruins, there's one at the start of An Orlando. Would not be surprised if if there were bosses behind those doors. It does say plural. Fill it with powerful souls. Plural. You know, I think last episode I was right. I reckon there are multiple souls I gotta put in there. Huh. Okay. Okay. Right, we've got a... <gasps> Whoop! I had zero idea warping was a thing. I, I assume that's straight up fast travel and it doesn't like cost me nothing. Um. Daughter of Chaos! <gasps> I can fast travel down to your to your fair lady spiders that are that are my my chosen queens. <laughs> my loyalty lies with the lady spiders. I can go straight down there at the moment of my choosing. Honestly, half the reason to go back through Blight Town was because I knew I wanted to loot a couple of items on the way down. That's when I got the katana. It, it was half to loot your stuff and just 100% it, and half to go down and level up pyromancy more. I wish I'd have come here first now, knowing I could have pressed a fucking button. Uh, although no, because I wouldn't have got the katana then. Okay, right. I think the world has just opened up to me, hasn't it? Dude, Tomb of the Giants, even. Right, okay. This is not every bonfire, clearly. I'm guessing it's one main bonfire in every town. I'm guessing Anor Londo is probably not this fire. I bet it's the starting fire. In fact, I'll, I could do that right now, just to see. Filing shrine, bruh, dude. Is this does this cost me anything, or is this truly just the world opened up to me? I can even get back in the fucking painting. Okay, tomb of the giants. If I'm right, and you need to activate the bonfire first, then that must be the very the the, the very first bonfire in the tomb of the giants before I even started to descend. And if that's the case. I bet it's the true of all of these. I bet it's like the first bonfire in an area. Um, Dark Moon Tomb. What the fuck is that? Uh, is that where I, that Grave Lord Covenant was? Where I slept in the coffin and got teleported to some weird shit underground? And I didn't uh, pray at something. Somebody told me to pray at that thing, so... Shall I go to that? and pray, because somebody told me to. Um. Let's, let's do my first warping. It has to be like a special one. Either Firelink Shrine, just for symbolic reasons, or I could test the whole first bonfire in an area theory by doing it all an Orlando. Um. 
Let's do Filing Shrine and just see what the fuck happens. I think I've done everything here. She had nothing new for me to say. Uh, okay. I bet you can warp to, uh, from any bonfire to those special bonfires. I, I think. Okay, now shit's opened up because after I did our an Orlando, I wanted to do New Londo down beneath. I wanted to do fucking uh, Valley of the Drakes. <sighs> okay, let's just rest. Right. Okay. Let's go to Anol. Can I? Right. It Dude. Talk about a milestone. I've never seen... Uh, it was the first bonfire in the town. Understood. In my life, I've never known a bigger milestone in any game ever. I can just go wherever the fuck I want now. Dude. The, the, the traveling in this game... <laughs> just went from ball, absolute colossal ball ache, more than any game I've ever played to being as open and free as any game I ever played. What a fucking night and day difference. Bruh. And Gravelord's Servant is what I thought might be that Dark Moon thing. Let's go there! Fuck, I can warp anywhere! I could just go anywhere! Dude! Oh my god. I can go anywhere. Um... This is Anna Londa. This is the. Uh. Um. What the fuck? Oh, I can't see it on the list because I'm here. Um, what what was it called? Dark Moon Fair. No, this isn't World of Warcraft. Dark Moon something. I like how fast it loads as well. By the way, it's like two seconds of black screen and you're just there. No lengthy loading screens. Dark Moon Tomb. Dark Moon. Where the fuck do I know that name from? Dark Moon. Undead Parish. Right, after this episode, I'll, I'll, I might draw up a bigger to-do list. A more structured, in-order to-do list for next episode, because I... Now I can go anywhere. I, I'm like a cat who's got too many balls of string rolling around. I don't know where the, what the fuck to do next, where to go, what to do. I'll go speak to Snakey Boy, because I think that's clearly the next thing to do, and see what he says. But then I want to go to all your places. I'm thinking Dark uh, Valley of the Drakes first, before even New Londo. Um, I don't know. It just seems like a place to go. Um, Dark Moon Tomb... Why is that here and it's separate to An Orlando? Oh, right, hang on. Uh, Chamber of the Princess. That's a covenant. Um, Dark Moon Tomb, I thought was the Gravelord place. It's not. Daughter of Chaos is a covenant. The rest aren't covenants, they're just places. It seems like you've got Firelink Shrine as your main hub at top, and then it looks like Covenants, and then normal places. Is Dark Moon Tomb a Covenant? There's no way it's a coincidence. It's between two Covenant bonfires. Chamber of the Prince Princess is the Princess Covenant. Then you've got your Chaos Servant Covenant. What the fuck is this Dark Moon Tomb? There's nothing there. It's just... Right. I was right. There has to be more to do here. Why the fuck else would this be the only place with two warpable bonfires? This is on that list for a reason. Can I do something in here? Like read a grave or pray at a grave? Let's try praying. There's no way. This is on such an important list and there's not more to do. Sorry, there isn't two in Anor Londo, there's fucking three, because you've got the, pr the Princess Guard Covenant up at the top. 
This is special. This has to be a covenant. Can I pray? There must be something I can do. Do I? I'm sure I have a pray thing. Hang on. Uh, pray, 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 pray. Not a thing. I don't know why the fuck. I can't, I can't think of anything else I would do. Um, is there a key item I can use? I'm looking for uh, Dark Moon. It's called, what's it called? Dark Moon Valley or some shit. Dark Moon Room. Dark Moon. Uh... I know I read the word Dark Moon somewhere. Where the fuck is it? Is it a ring? Dark Moon Seance Ring, I remember now. Dark Moon Seance Ring grants... That, that's not special, they just grant some fucking slots. This ring is granted to ad adherents of Gwyn Gwyndolin. What was her name up there? Gwynev Gwynevere? Lastborn of Gwyn. I'm gonna put this ring on. There's lots of references to Gwyn and Lord of Gwyn and shit and... Um, hang on. Let's leave the loot ring on. This is the only thing with Dark Moon in the name. I've got the brain of a thousand gods. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the chances in that? Alright, how much stuff have I missed in this game by similar shit to this? Where you've got to equip a thing and it does a thing and you've- there's no- Other than the fact that the name of the thing is- is relatable. This was Dark Moon Bonfire. It seems like a Covenant place. This must be a fucking Covenant. It must be. Otherwise, why is it in between two Covenants on the- th Alright, okay. <sighs> And if I put this ring on standing anywhere in the room, would it have disappeared? Or did I have to be standing right in front of that doorway? Fucking... Okay. <laughs> halt! This is the tomb of the great Lord Gwyn. Hello? Tarnished it shall not be by the feet of men. If thou art a true disciple of the Dark Sun, cast aside thine ire. Hear the voice of mine self. Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn. And kneel before me. Um. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang the fuck on here. Hang the fuck on. It said last born of Lord Gwyn, so this is the younger brother of the big woman upstairs, is it not? And I kneel to her. She's the elder of the two. This guy sounds like a wimpy bastard. But this is clearly, it must be a covenant. Do I kneel or can I... Oh. Can I go through the door? Neil. Uh. What the fuck? Do I kneel? What, uh. What happens if I kneel? I'm, I'm curious. Oh, disciple of the dark sun. Thou hast that must be a covenant. The dark sun. Hear my voice. If thou shalt swear by the covenant. Oh, it is. Become a shadow of Father Gwyn and Sister Guinevere. A blade that shall hunt. But she has her own our covenant. Lords. Then I shall protect thee, safeguarding thy person with the power of the dark moon. I mean, I don't want to. Achievement unlocked. Covenant. Blade of the dark moon. I was right. It is a covenant. Oh, fucking brain power. I'm wondering how much shit I've missed in this game if this was so fucking easy to miss. Christ. Um, I mean, I've, I'm saying no to all of them. I'm finding it weird that he he just said... He's, he sounds like a, a pussy bitch, by the way. <laughs> you shouldn't judge a book by the cover, but he, he sounds like a bit of a wimp. Um, and he said protect Lord uh, uh, Guinevere and him or something. And she's up there with her own covenant. Is this guy, like, full of shit? She wants me to, like, succeed her father, Lord Gwyn. That's, that sounds like a good thing, you know what I'm saying? But he just said, become a shadow of Lord Gwyn or some shit. So fuck that. I mean, fuck both of them, but f extra fuck this guy. Very well. We shall not need speech. Exit here and follow thine own design. But I can go through this door. Is this a boss door? 
I mean... It, I'm not gonna not go through the fucking door. What's here? Can I see this what guy? Foolishness. Where is he? Why trespasseth upon the great lord's tomb, whilst thou art a disciple of the dark sun? What? Mark the words of mine self. Is this like an optional boss? This must be an optional boss. Okay, this is a boss. What the fuck? Is he gonna give me like a boss soul for the lord vessel? Fucking just like that! I mean, a fuck. What manner of. Dude, is this. This is like that scene in Inception with just endless shit in the mirror? Just. Can I leave? <laughs> This must be the, the most optional of optional boss fights I've ever witnessed in my life. This guy sounds evil. He sounds like a wimp. He, he sounds like a 12 year old, I'll be completely honest. Um, but Dark Sun, he's the young... Hello? I, 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 know, I know to dodge magic, I'm a professional. Just hang on, just stay there. I need to muse on what the fuck's going on. D this guy's covenant is the dark sun, and he wants me to become a shadow of Lord Gwyn. It seems evil and dark and shit and shadowy in all its meanings, just bad. Does it not? Especially in comparison to Guinevere's um, Princess Guard covenant. She's. This guy was hiding behind a statue, hiding behind a door. He's talking about darkness and shadows and shit. And seance rings. This guy sounds evil to me. And he's the he's the youngest. Just in terms of law, whoa, 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 whoa. Just in terms of law, he sounds like a jaded younger brother of Lord Gu uh, uh, um Lady Guinevere. You know? I've got no qualms killing this guy. You can keep your dark son to yourself. Um Fucking hell! Okay, heal. Okay, he can- okay, okay, okay. Let's just dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. I tell you what, let's get your fat fireballs at the ready. This guy needs some fire. Fuck it up! Oh god, oh god. Oh, let's get to- I've got 20 flasks, let's use them. Alright, okay. Am I supposed to do damage to these guys fast while I- while I've got the opportunity? I think I do. I think this is endless, like, moving backwards. Fucking hell! Fucking hell! Okay, goodbye, human form. Um, Jesus. He's got tentacles, by the way, you noticed. His elder sister, who seemed good and... What? How dare you produce a bleed upon a deity? How did you ever get this far? What? Lend your suffering here and now. What? It is the least that I can do. What? He, but he seemed evil. No! Oh, I've got to fuck this entire playthrough up, eh? The last thing I wanted to do was kill like a, a firekeeper. What the actual fuck? He seemed nothing but evil. He seemed he seemed in terms of law like he was going against his good elder sister by creating a dark covenant of the shadow and the shit and the, and the misery and the darkness. And he had tentacles for feet. What sort of deity has tentacles for feet and isn't an evil deity? But why the fuck is this firekeeper suddenly going ape shit? Right. I've accidentally killed one NPC so far and I didn't realise at the time as the thousand comments suggested I could have... Mm. I could have absolved my sins by speaking to that absolution person on top of the undead parish. Can I do the same here? I have a feeling that's not going to be possible because firekeepers seem too important compared to regular NPCs. Do you see what I'm saying? I think she's going. This lady's going to be pissed no matter what. Um, but I'd be a fool to not at least try. Wouldn't you agree? Is her fire still? What the fuck? Okay, somebody in the comments let me know about this situation because this kind of sucks. I can't rest in active combat. And clearly, 
if I kill her, the fire's gonna go out and then I'm fucked. My plus 20 fucking fire will go out permanently. Um, I can't warp. Shit, man. Okay. I've got to see. I've got to check if I can potentially absolve my sins with a firekeeper. But I highly doubt I can. At least she doesn't follow me forever. I could just sort of leave her pissed off. And speaking of, uh, I guess I might as well finish what I started, eh, and see if I can kill that motherfucker. Go away. I wonder if I can kill him. I wonder if she'll stop being so pissed off. I can't believe this turn of events. I thought I was doing... I just wanted to walk through the fog door and see what was there. I didn't want to commit to a whole... A whole fucking shitstorm of crap and killing firekeepers. Oh god, this is bad, man. I didn't want to kill a fucking firekeeper. I suppose if I can't absolve my shit and she's always going to be pissed off at me. Okay, number one. There's two silver linings. Or one silver lining. If I can't, if, if I can't absolve my sins and have her friendly again, then I, I have no choice but to kill her because there's no point not killing her because I can't rest of that fire when she's chasing my ass. So that fire, even when she's still alive, is unusable unless I kill her. So, so unless I can absolve my sins, that fireplace is permanently unusable whether she's alive or not. She's either chasing me or she's dead and the fire is out. So that fire is fucked now if I can't absolve my sins. And then the silver lining is, if I kill her, I can go up to plus four Estus flasks, but, but that sucks. That fucking sucks. Although, I don't really have much cause to come back here. Now I can warp between fireplaces and shit, and Anna Orlando is basically completed. I don't even have to go to the paint painting anymore manually. I can just teleport straight to that world. I guess, um, and there's closer fireplaces to warp. I can warp to the princess fireplace to come to the blacksmith easier. And I didn't see if Sen's Fortress was on that list of bonfires. I am. Um, uh, and I didn't see if Andre's fireplace was either, because that would be a nice fireplace to warp to. Um, but I don't think I need that fireplace other than to get up to that golden door up there. Uh, so I suppose thinking about it is not that bad. Is it? It's not that bad. I'm just trying to convince myself here. Uh, right, where the fuck am I going? Um, I need to go down, don't I? Oh, I've gone and shit the bed here. What a... Why, why, why the fuck is she on about helping this tentacle-footed fucking evil guy, clearly? I'm worried now. Shall I go up to the princess? I'm worried that, like, pissing off her brother, even though they seem, like, yin and yang, the, the, the big lady seems cool and he seems like a little pussy bitch, evil, tentacle-footed bitch. I'm worried now that pissing him off has pissed her off as well. She's given me the Lord Vessel, which is the main thing. And it, so it won't be the worst thing in the world if she's also pissed at me. But it'll kind of suck, you know what I mean? If I go up now and she's pissed off at me. Um, I'll be honest, I'm not completely arsed about fighting this... Uh, about defeating this guy because something tells me he's only going to drop, like, caster gear and catalysts and shit like that that I'm not going to use. So if he wipes the floor with me a second time, I might leave him for, like, a, a really far-down-the-road future episode. You know? Um, let's rest. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I'm sure this guy drops nothing of too, uh, nothing too important, you know. So, if he wipes the floor with me now, I'll I'll 
fuck off somewhere else and I might come back in like a second to last episode where I clean up everything in the game, you know? That's what I did with Elden Ring. I did one final catch-up episode where I completed everything. Right, okay. I'm not gonna piss around this time. No pissing around. Dude, s seriously? By the way, that's a lot of runes fucking, fucking gone. <laughs> or oh, souls. Fuck it. That doesn't matter to me anymore. Um, I'll do this later. I don't want... I've been going two hours. I don't want the second half of this episode to be me getting my ass handed to me by one big old regret. That's all this guy is, is one big regret in like a physical form. So, let's commit to something else. I need to make a decision here. Um, oh, hang on, so you, you got your cat- Thank fuck for the catacombs, by the way, and shit like that so I can go back to fire blacksmith easier. So, catacombs, tomb of the giants, painting, undead parish is a big deal. I reckon that will be... Let's just do it. Let's not reckon anything, let's do it. Please tell me it's above the blacksmith. Yes! What a fantastic- By the way, never before has it been easy to get my, uh, get 20 flasks. If I can walk back to a bonfire that gives me 20, and then walk back somewhere else again. <laughs> That's just 20- I'm always gonna have 20 flasks going forward. Okay. Is there anything new to say? Just because. Oh, that's... Uh, you know, honestly, I wish I'd have done that boss and done all this shit before I ended the last episode, because I've gone back and forth between the blacksmiths so many times, upgrading weapons and shit. This would have made it a thousand times easier. Well, I don't you need any... There, that's what I needed to do. I don't even have 200 souls. <laughs> uh, okay. Right. Understood. Okay. I've got literally no souls. Oh yes, and one other thing. I'm okay, okay, okay. Shh, 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 shh. What do we have to do next? I could uh, walk back down to uh, Firelink Shrine, but where's the fun in that when you can when you can get sucked into the fire and appear there? And I'm gonna try talking to everyone again. Ooh. I'm just gonna uh, restart my recording because I've been going for two hours. Right, we're back again. Can I see the old sneaky boy? There he is, somewhere up there. Just this his little, uh, <laughs> little face poking at the top. All right, has anyone got anything to say to me? None of them will speak to me because I don't have enough intelligence or whatever it is. Oh, hello. I was waiting to tell oh. you. Master Logan has returned. Oh. And he tells me that he has you to thank. Well, we are both in your debt now. Who's m Thank you, sincerely. He's just over there. Go along and have a chat. Oh, okay. He's been he's been here for a while. Oh, hello. Terrific. And pray that Keep going, keep going. Oh, hello. Ter and Okay, what's he got for me? Hello. La yeah, last time I did speak to him before, didn't I? And he just said, "You're not smart enough. Go fuck yourself," basically. Is uh has Mr. Round Boy got anything new for me? Oh, I'm sorry. Miracle sometimes. Hmm, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Gotcha. Mirac so he's useless. Uh, I still need to speak to Fiery Boy down in uh, Blight Town. Uh, just in case he's got something new. In fact... In fact... Uh, that's shit. You got the Daughters of Chaos, which is a bit lower than the Blight Town or the Depths. I'm surprised they're in a Blight Town bonfire, actually. Because if I didn't have Daughters of Chaos, there's no, e there's still no easy way of getting da back down to Blight Town. Hmm. 
Well, I'll leave that for now. Um, there's still that illusory wall that we've previously discussed uh, was sort of spoiled for me, so it's looking likely that I might want to go there very, very soon. Um, I don't, that, that double illusory wall that leads down to somewhere beneath Blight Town. Uh, so that might be next on the list. Uh, we'll speak to to Snakey Boy, see what it's got to say, and then I might have to make a decision on where to go next, because there's like five options. You got New Londo, Demon, Demon Ruins Light Door, An Orlando Light Door, New Londo with the ghosts, Valley of the Drakes, that's four, Through the Illusory Wall in Blight Town to somewhere major, that's five places I can go. I think it's just a five. Oh, Tomb of the Giants, six. It's the six fucking places I can go. Hello, Mr. Fuck. Massive snaky boy that's still as scary as the first day. Heavens, you have done it. I have. You have retrieved the Lord Vessel. After a thousand years, it is you. It is really you. <laughs> is he about to eat me? Seriously? C calm down. Calm down. Is he about to go apeshit and, like, fight me? <laughs> Forgive me. I really should calm down. Now, let us take that vessel on a journey. I assume that you are ready. Oh, God, what's he doing? Now, be still. Okay. Don't... Oh, is he about to swallow me? So, I figure... Okay. He, he had that look about him. He had the look of a snake that was about to swallow me as a friendly guy. Kind of like the uh, Jormungandr in God of War when he swallows you. Thank you for the transport and not swa uh, eating me. Look how long his dangly neck is. <laughs> he just looks funny. This is the Firelink Chamber. For the successor of Lord Gwyn. Now, place the Lord Vessel on the altar. You've got multiple things there. <laughs> I, I, I'm not scared of this guy anymore. He looks hilarious. Just a little dangly boy. He reminds me, of, for some reason, of Sid from Ice Age. Just almost like a goofy look to him with his little whiskers. <laughs> Terrifying. Uh, what is it? No reason. Okay, right. Got multiple things behind me. Altars. Uh, this isn't premature, is it? Like I'm supposed to collect all your boss souls first? Surely not. Um. Right. Forgive me if I'm doing something fucking stupid. Oh, I can open it. Okay. Forgive me if I'm doing this prematurely, but she did tell me to speak to him. So I'm hoping I can still go through those doors of light if I get rid of the Lord Vessel. Fuck it, oh, that's a bit big. Have I carried that on my back all this time? Jesus. Ooh. I'm guessing I can just still go to all the places. Okay. Okay, Jesus Christ. Talk about God rays. Fucking hell. Oh my God. Dude, I'm transforming the world. This is some Elden Ring level shit. Oh. Oh, what the f fuck? I didn't recognize that door then. That's the one in Anor Orlando. That's the Demon Ruins. So that's two of the three I recognize. Any more? It's three, right. Where the fuck was that first one? Oh, you can rest. Cool. Ah, offer souls to Lord Vessel. Um. No, right, okay. So it doesn't count all your boss souls I've already got. Understood. Um. Okay. Can I warp here? This looks... This list looks bigger now. No, I can't. I'm guessing I can just teleport down from the surface of Firelink. Um, okay. Um, where could that third door be? Oh, 
I wonder if it's in Tomb of the Giants, because I, I stopped myself from continuing to go down, so I never did see Tomb of the Giants, really. It's either there or in the Valley of the Drakes. It has to be. Or New Londo. Actually, it could be. There's multiple places I haven't gone yet, so it could be anywhere. Very well. As King Seeker, I shall now instruct you, the Lord's <laughs> successor, in your next task. To achieve your fate, fill the vessel with powerful souls, commensurate to the great soul of wind. Okay. Scarce few possess such brilliant souls. Grave Lord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, the four kings of New Londo. New Londo. Who inherited the shards of Gwyn's soul, and Lord Gwyn's former confidant, Seath. The scaleless. That's four. All of their souls are required to satiate the Lord Vessel. Okay, that's four, but only three doors were unlocked. Ready? Then we shall return. Stay still for a moment. Interesting. Okay. Okay. They mentioned new lot. <laughs> oh my god. That's uh, one hell of a journey. Where's his body? I've just seen that his top half. Thank you. For the ride. Oh look at these whiskers flapping. Well thank you for the for the rides. Um now he's going back down just a, an option when you talk to him. Is it something uh Let's just talk. Oh, speaking of feeding items, I, I, somebody confirmed I think that the, those rings have no purpose other than you know to to feed. Uh I don't think I need any souls right now, so I'll save it. The beings who possess these souls have outlived their usefulness. Okay. Or have chosen the path of the wicked. Understood. As the primordial serpent, I implore you to defeat them and claim their souls. Let there be no g Can you give me the names again? W only one was uh, mentioning a place, and that was New Londo was the Four Kings. Uh, so that might not be the next place I go. The beings who possess the pri Let there be Oh, is he not going to tell me their names the again? Beings who okay. Possess these souls. Well, I mean, where the fuck do we go first? I kind of want to save New Londo almost for last, really. Um, I've still got an unupgraded cursed weapon. I'm still curious if I'm going to find a better cursed weapon than that sword. Um... So, Demon Ruins. Demon Ruins. And that place in Anor Londo. I wonder if those are just straight up boss rooms, by the way, and it's not like an area, but just a boss fight behind those doors. Um. Fuck, man. Oh! Uh. I'll tell you what I will do. Shall I go up to the Absolution person and see if I can absolve my sins? And see if that firekeeper doesn't want to kill my ass anymore. It is funny. It's funny, I can still fast travel there when she's pissed off at me. I wonder if I should leave her alive so I can fast travel there, and then you lose that ability if you kill her? That's interesting. Because if that's the case, I'm just going to leave her pissed off at me and chasing me. Let's see, moment of truth. Um, I never did try to do this absolution shit. I don't know if you simply get the option when somebody is pissed off at you. Or if it gives you the option at all times. Um, where the fuck was it? It was up on the roof, wasn't it? I forgot to get past all these shit munches. I do. Oh my god. I have no time for your shit. I am done with little bastards. In fact... <laughs> oh, oh, yes. I love the lava splash damage. It's so good. Ow, fuck, fuck you, fuck you, little bastard. I'm so glad I went with the Chaos Lady Spiders, by the way. Uh, 
I've got a direct question for you, so it's not like a spoiler. Let, please let me know. Is there any other... Other Covenant rewards that are like just as much of a game changer, just as fucking powerful as Chaos Storm is from the Lady Spiders. Because if so, I can, you know, it's worth doing multiple, maxing out multiple Covenants in one playthrough. Because it's such a big deal. And the Great Chaos Fireball, both of them came from upping my rank with the Chaos Servant. Right, hello. Greeting. Oh. It, um. Okay. It, is this because she's pissed off at me and, it, and I can fix that relationship? Or does he just offer you this shit regardless of who or nobody is pissed off at you, you know? If this is just always an option. I'm guessing here that she will cease to be pissed off at me. Hmm. Has thou acquaintance with Petrus of Thurn? Petrus of Thurn? I wager you two has likely found much in common. For is he not too? <laughs> oh, is that right? Is some, is some guy called Petrus pissed off at me and this is absolving his relationship? Hmm. Hmm, I wonder if it is. Um, I'm gonna continue, I'm gonna go through one of the light doors or, or somewhere. I don't know. Um, this episode, and I'm gonna s I'm gonna wait for feedback, because that's such a big deal. I don't have the runes at it right now, sadly, to just straight up try that. But uh, you know what? I'll save my questions for the end of this episode, because I've still got like an hour and a half left. Um, and I might, if I can get 30,000, 40,000 runes this episode, I might come back here. I might just fast travel back and see if I can uh, fix that relationship here, right here and now. Okay. All right, where am I going first? I've got to make a choice. Shit, man. Well, New Londa was mentioned. <sighs> that third door could have, could be any of the places. It could be Tomb of the Giants, or it could be. Uh... Wasn't one of the bosses mentioned? Grave Lord Nito, Grave Lord Covenant, Grave Lord Servant, like where I got sent in that coffin. Right, I, it, this is it. I need to make a choice. Um, what's next? What's next? I'm tempted to go down into the demon ruins, you know. Is that a stupid fucking idea? <laughs> um, stretch. Oh, fuck, what do we do next? I'm tempted to save Tomb of the Giants for now because that was so fucking tough. <laughs> I'm thinking demon ruins, because those Capra demons are my bitch now, they're, they're easy as shit. So it's either demon ruins, light door, or an Orlando light door. And out of the two places, quite honestly, I find demon ruins easier than an Orlando with your big golden annoying statue fuckers. New Londo is the cursed ghost, I want to try and stave that off as long as possible. And then you've got Valley of the Drakes. I'll go to the Demon Ruins. Ooh, it's on, ladies and gentlemen. It's on like Alderaan. This is gonna be... Watch it turn out, I've come to the hardest of all these doors now. The hardest of all the endgame places. I mean... Hello again. I don't have the ring on, but hello again. Uh, okay. Now shit down here is resistant to fire, or well, most of the stuff is, so I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna be switching back for your good old night sword. Fuck it. I can always home bone away, no matter, no matter how tough a place is. 
I've uh, I've got the wrong way. I've got nothing to lose, have I? I've got no humanity. I'm not human. I've got no souls. Multiple places to go. And uh, in the greatest of need, like Frodo with that light thing, in the absolute end of all need, I can just home bone myself away to a safe place. <laughs> you know, so if it turns out Demon Ruins is one of the hardest places and I've just come here prematurely, fuck it. I can just leave. Let's go. I've already. Oh, uh, I wonder if I should go back, you know, to to Mr. Fireboy and speak to him. Um, fuck it, I'll save it. My throat is parched. I need a. I didn't get a drink earlier. I'm I'm fucking thirsty. Um, I've been, I've been down to these demon ruins to farm Capra Demons like four separate times between episodes and I've mentioned it every time um la the last time was before this episode to farm souls to uh, upgrade your pyromancy but Jesus I'm like a pro at killing Capra Demons now they ain't shit anymore you see what I mean by the range of the uh of the Black Knight sword. It's nothing compared to that fire sword. Ooh. I wonder if the Lord Vessel allows me to do anything else, or if it just opens these doors. You know? I don't think I've got much way of knowing, really. Ooh, goodness me. That fucking spider thing is still on the wall. Let me guess. Is, is that thing about to grab me? <laughs> now I've officially progressed the whole fucking area. Am I about to get, like, fucked? God damn it. Usually I can two hit these, a running attack and then a light attack. If I'm close enough. There. I farm these fuckers so much, they ain't nothing to me anymore. One and two and three and four. Who's next? I've put most of them away, um, but I've got like five of these swords that these fuckers use. Too far away. Oh, and I'm not. Last guy. Say goodbye to your life, Mr. Demon. Right, okay. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Ain't. Oh, it's a white fog door now. Yeah, I've said it before. I've been waiting for this fucking thing on the wall to do something. It must be something. I'm going to rest at this uh, fireplace, just in case I should die. But look at it. It's highlighted. Nothing is highlighted unless it does something. I wonder if it's like on the way back out of here. Can I lock on? There's no fucking way this isn't a boss. Uh, let's kill this little cat fucking thing. Hello. Bosh. Right, can I say hello? Oh. Was that always in that position? Oh. Oh. I'll 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 return in good time, Mr. Caterpillar thing. Fuck me, is the, is the damage of this thing high? Jesus Christ. I 
I can now two shot kill these, which makes them way easier. Um, let's run past that little fucking thing. Oh god, help us all! Ooh. Right, here we go! I've got basically nothing to lose that I care about. Ooh. Okay, right, uh... I mean, that way is committing to something probably horrific. This way is not. What the fuck do we have here? Um, right. When I, if I jump to there, if I even can, I can't get back up. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Hmm. Well, I've got a little tree I can walk on. Jesus, this place is big. Um. Well, let's go for a run. That's a big old door. I wonder if this somehow connects with that door I saw at the bottom of the lava at some point. Ooh, what's that? Okay, you got little spiky fucks down there. Hmm. You got some stairs. Right, well, nothing to stop us going down and having a little poke around, I guess. If I jump down to that looty boy over there, there's no way down, is there? Uh, I might want to get that now while I've got nothing to lose. Um, I guess I just have to fall off onto that branch and take some fall damage, but let's try it. Oh. Oh, God help us all. Oh, fucking hell, man. Okay. Lord Jesus, take the wheel. Now, this isn't a fiery place, so I'm tempted to quickly throw on the, uh... Shit, not that. Queen liked Fury Sword again. And I forgot to see about upgrading as well. Fuck. Soul of a Brave Warrior. Is that really it? Oh, fucking hell, man. Um, let's just... <laughs> Very good. Very good. Pat on the back. That was a good one. Let's attack the tree. Okay, we can attack the trees. Hmm. Uh. Can I just attack my way through the... No. Is this not a thing? Okay. Right, let's go down towards Spiky Boys and probably die. Let me know in the comments which is generally considered better, Dark Souls 1 or 3, because if 3 is as good or better than 1, I mean, I'm looking forward to that shit. This game has been a fucking treat from start to finish. I've said it multiple times, times but never underestimate, uh, or, um, don't mistake my, my, my suffering for not liking the game. I fucking love it. Well, I don't want to kill some innocent creatures. What's this door? Touch door? Okay, I mean... Oh, God. What is that? Oh, God, help me. I hope this isn't a bad thing, not going for the... For the fog door right now and coming this way instead but it is what it is oh 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 no die 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 yeah Ooh. I mean I can buy them now unlimited but 
Ah, oh, for the love of God, not another fucking Tide Night Demon. <laughs> Lost Isolith. That was one of your places that was mentioned, was it not? Was it not? Lost Isolith. Um. I, I can't even remember who said it, the snake or the woman. But Lost Isolith was mentioned. New Londo was mentioned. Demon Ruins wasn't mentioned by name. But New Londo was. Lost Isolith was. Gravelord Nito was. The snake said weird things. It listed a couple of places and then a couple of people, so I don't know. But this this feels like its own entire fucking shit show. What are these things? Uh, these look like lava swamp T-Rexes. Th those are straight up T-Rexes. Lost Isolith. I don't know at what point, but somebody mentioned that being in your I don't know if it's a spoiler or not, but somebody mentioned there is a shortcut to a... I, I, I think it's Lost Isolith. Now that I've seen the name for myself. I'm sure somebody said there was a shortcut down here and it's to do with the Chaos Covenant. But it is what it is. At least I know the official way down here. Well, I'm saving this for a rainy day. I'm going through the fog door. Uh, this, this sounds like its own entire shit show of a place. Um... I could... I could... If I die, then I go back anyway, no big deal. And if I survive, I want to see if I can get a bonfire and get a, a warp point back down here so I don't have to go down this whole fucking corridor again. So I will go forward at least until a bonfire. Um... You know, each of these Titanite demons looks different. But I need raw damage. Fire ain't gonna do shit against these. Um, probably. Um, yeah, I need I need raw damage against these fuckers. And I'd love to open the combat with a chaos storm. That would just kill this fucker dead. So uh, as long as this isn't like a super strong version, I'm gonna get as close as possible. And if he aggro's, I'm gonna just start the cast immediately. Fucking hell, man. Fucking hell! I didn't realize I was that close. Right, I fucked him up so far. Oh, he's, he's so fucked. You gotta love Chaos Fire. Fuck, man. Well, that's all my fire gone. Let's try flame throwing him if I can get him to attack. All of the ow. <sighs> good thing we've got 20 flasks. I just need to get one good fire shit on him. That does fucking no damage, does it? <laughs> that does nothing. Um, but a prolonged one might do some good damage. I also don't know the full range of this fire surge. Once you get it going. It's... No, that's nothing. That's nothing, is it? Hmm. I might have to rely on good old damage. To get rid of all these little sticks. I, I just don't want to die. I'm just trying to focus. <laughs> God, he does that swing so fast. <sighs> he 
they fucking hit you from so far away with that. If I'm getting to do the lightning, that's great. Gotcha! Ooh, that's what I wanted, just sustained damage. Nice! Fuck you. Titanite Catchpole got one of those already, and two Demon Titanite. Just to be clear, that's what's needed for my Queelag Fury Sword, isn't it? Hang on. Uh. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That's another two shards towards my Queelag Sword. Nice. Ooh. I'm hoping Lost Izalith is the only fiery place in addition to the Demon Ruins. And the fire weapon will be good everywhere else, I hope. Like, Tomb of the Giants sounds like it's a good place to use a fire sword to me. Now, hang on, I don't want, like, a big... This looks like a boss arena. I don't want a big old boss fight. I, you know? I intentionally want to save this shit for later. Can I get a, uh... Can I get me a bonfire, please, and I'll... I'll turn around. Oh! Fucking hell. Elevator? No? Okay. Um... It can't be that long until the first bonfire. What the fuck just made that sound? Oh my god, have you seen the size of that one up there? Oh my goodness. Oh. I'm fucking grateful I can one-shot these, let me tell you. Bonfire, 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 any bonfires? Can we get some bonfires? Oh, fuck me. It's half looking like I'm just committed now to doing this whole fucking place. Let's clear the area at the very least before we start climbing up there and shit. I'm go up there. Uh, we can't go up there. But what's in here? Oh! 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 Fucking floors. I hate them. Because it's a one-way journey. Fuck's sake, I can't go back up now. Fuck. Oh my goodness. It's looking at me. What is this? War of the Worlds. The fuck? Well, I want the loot. I can jump down to there and jump... Oh, God help me. Oh, I'm fully committed to Lost Isolith now. Oh my God. They've got... Big old circle mouths. They're like krakens. Oh fuck. Um. Shit. I feel like. No <gasps> oh. Oh. It's all good. It's all good. All good. Rusted eyed ring. I'll get poison. I'll get my shit at the ready so I can unpoison myself. It's all good. No panic. All gravy. Is this a monster? No, good. Ooh, red titanite slab, nice. I'm glad that wasn't a monster because you can't see the chain on the floor next to it, you know? Well, I'm a fucking shit, so I've fallen down the floor and now I've extra committed by falling into the abyss. But there's no way that's not death. I can see water down there just dimly. Honestly, I don't even want to cure the poison. It just, it just, it's, it's less headache if I just let it happen. Oh my god, I didn't want to get balls deep into a different zone now. 
I should have gone through the fog door. Hello! Are they friendly? Kind of remind me of like... Yorg Saron or one of those uh, old gods in World of Warcraft with like a thousand eyes. I wouldn't be surprised if like one or two big old hits with this sword kills these fuckers, you know? Because I'm so powerful. Uh, shit, I've used all my fire. Um, let's get the shield out just for now and see if I can block a hit. Hello? Okay, it can walk over holes. We've learned it can walk over holes. That's two hand a hit. It does big damage, big damage. Let's get one more big old hit. Gotcha. Right. Good. Right. At least I can two shot him. I'm, I'm tempted to break out the old fury sword so I can like three hit him before I get hit. Fucking hell. Right, let's bring one at a time on my ass. I need to kill all these and get the loot before I'm out of all these ten flasks. Uh Oh god. Would be great if I could get them to fall. Like if I get them front front on and center. There you go. <laughs> as long as I aim them in the middle. Goodbye. You ugly bastards. Oh, they're actually dying as well. So they haven't just gone to a new place. They've died. Okay. One left. Let's just kill him. Good old fashioned. Good. Okay. I would. I'd love to have the poise ring on, I'll be honest, but uh, I need the rusted iron ring so I can move. Red Titanite. That's good. Brave Warrior. Okay. Green Titanite times two. I'm getting some good upgradey shit down here. Wondering if I can sort of burn half of this shit away, but that's fine. <laughs> Forgive me for trying. I mean, this, where the fuck do I go? Except to jump down. And they, they died from the fall. Keep that shit in mind. So, chances are I'll die from the fall. <sighs> what a fucking horrific, miserable place. That's a way past that tree trunk. What's down here? Oh, right, okay. Hello? Um, oh, that's not a crack. It's a tree. So there's a crack on the wall there. I'll tell you, this game is nothing if not, like, surprising. I was not expecting... You know, of all the new areas I've got to go now, I wasn't expecting another one. I was expecting to go to one of the areas I know I knew about but haven't completed yet. Um, hang on, the, is this the original fall down room? Can't even tell. Oh, it is. Oh, right. Can I just? Okay. Well, I'm down here now. I mean, I'm. You know what I mean? I'm down here now. I might as well check it all out. I'm not coming back down to this swamp sucker with many teeth hell again, so let's try running past this tree trunk. And then I might do a once over. I really want, I never want to come down here again, so. Or is this just another way up? Right, I think I've got everything down there other than big old falls down. Hello. What if I should try using my remaining fire surge? Oh, that's big. Look at that damage, man. Dude. Right, okay. I'm going to put on the fire sword. Th these seem weak to fire.
I, I'm wondering if not only just boss weapons, but if there's any other weapons that are as cool as fire attacks. So the sword isn't on fire itself, but the attacks are. Anyway. Well, we, uh, we killed that motherfucker. Got that loot. That's the way up. I think we're good. Sort of. Let me just make double fucking sure. You never know. Christ. Well, considering I just dropped him in a hole, that was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. That is not the way I want to go. Jesus, I'm getting dizzy here. Um, I want to be on that half a trunk going up there, so I need to go down, I think. Don't I? <laughs> uh, bear with me. I am lost and confused. Can I get on from this side? Whoa! Woo! Oh, for fuck's sake. I forgot, Zach. Um, shit, man. That worked too well. I've learned, by the way, to like sprint and like move your camera by moving my hand. It's it's awkward, but it does work. I am yet to be able to do that and like attack with my sword, though. I'm not that skilled yet. Well, that's not the way to go. <laughs> Hang on, where the fuck? Right, it's up here. Okay. Well, let's not rush. Let's just take my time. Aim true. There's nothing up there. I can't believe I haven't seen a single fireplace yet. Like, what the fuck? What a, what a series of dangers I've already faced and there hasn't been a single fucking bonfire. I wonder if there's one in this room up here. Two-hand my weapon. Right, okay, what fresh hell awaits us? The googly boys aren't just down there, they're up here. Um, I see a dude. Now, I, the last time I saw a dude that looked like that, he was standing on top of, like, a fortress down in New Londo in Ghost Town, and I never got to him, and, uh, you know, I, was, I don't know if that was a friendly NPC or not, but he looked exactly like this fucker here. It's quite hard to see, actually. Oh, this fucker's moving next to me. Have you noticed that? Huh. Well, let's go in here first. Ooh! Okay. Um, well, let's speak to him. If you can. Or if he, is he just gonna kill my ass? Hello? Oh! Okay. Right, so they're just- they're just on your ass. Fucking hell! Fucking hell, dude! Fucking hell, man! Right, these do these guys have chaos fire. Have you noticed that? That's not regular fire. That's my chaos fire, and that's chaos storm. I'm dead. I... Bruh. Okay. Have I pissed off the lady spiders or something? Oh, I'm back here again. Oh my god. Not the biggest loss, because now I can go in the door I wanted to go in. But Jesus Christ. <sighs> oh fuck, right, these guys are resistant to fire. Doing good. I can't believe there wasn't a single fireplace in there. I mean, there has to be one, surely, except, you know, like I didn't reach it. 
I'm shocked. Honestly, that wasn't a friendly NPC. You know, I'm wondering now if that could could have been a friendly NPC, but I've pissed someone off or something. Like the Dark Moon seancey fucker. Right, okay, let's, uh... I lost quite a few runes there. But, uh, whatever. Let's do this. I've no idea. Right, boss. Is it a boss? It's a boss. Oh, fucking hell, man. Ow. Fuck, man. Let's get underneath him. He seems very similar to, uh... Hang on, that's two and my weapon. He seems very similar to the prison guy, do you know what I mean? Fucking hell. Um, I'd like for him to get rid of some of these tree trunks. Demon Fire Sage. This guy sounds like an ordinary boss to me, like a, not a special boss. He doesn't sound like a god, you know what I mean? I, I need to- I'm gonna do the same tactic as the prison demon. I'm gonna get close. Ow. Like much ow, let's get closer. As long as he doesn't do that explosion, I'm good. Dude, I, dude, I can't even see, bruh. Fuck. Okay. I tell you, the camera and the sprinting thing is an art form. Ooh. Okay. Um, it's going to be weak to f uh, sorry, it's resistant to fire, isn't it? But I'm tempted to toss out one or two fireballs just to make sure, you know? Dude, he took so much damage from that fire, did you see? Considering he's made of fucking fire. Ow. Ow, oh, I, I was just too close to that. That's quite good for a fiery demon. Oh, oh, that tree trunk. Did you see that little bastard tree trunk? I need to get closer to him. Let's go up to him. No, bad, bad, very bad. Oh. can't see, man. Right, I'm out of flasks. <laughs> I'm out of flasks. This is bad. That did a lot of damage to him. Let's get close to him. Very good, let's get- let's back off just a little bit. I'm doing excellent. <laughs> um, except the health situation. Fucking hell! Dude! Damn it! Fucker! Fuck! Fuck! I come so close every time to one shot in a boss and then I get it the second time. Fucker! Well, my fire situation was good. Um, be great if I had more than five flasks, but I don't wanna... I think I can do this with five. You know? I don't, I don't feel... 
Like I need to uh, kindle this fire. I think definitely close is key. Close range, but... Um, just I just need to not get exploded on, you know? No to the explosions, and then just hit his feet. Fuck you. Hey, get out my way. I've got more important enemies to try and kill. Like your boss. Demon Fire Sage. Something tells me that that other door that I got to is the real boss. <laughs> uh, well, I'll, I'll do all your... Mm -hmm. Should I just attack the fucker with the sword? I did so much damage with my Chaos Storm, I kind of want to open with that. Let's do this. What up, bitch? Ow! Fucking right off the bat. Bad. Oh, I thought I got away from that then. Fuck. I need to heal because I can't survive another attack. Let's, let's, stop, let's, let's stop being a bitch. Let's get close to him. Well, I hit him, but... Uh, well, I kind of... Yeah. Hmm. Mixed feelings there. Oh, this isn't going nearly as well. Oh god, bad, bad, bad! No! Ooh, oh fuck off, come on! That is just hitting me. Oh, I can't get away from that one. I'm, his belly has me trapped in an actual corner. Oh, come on! How did that not hit him? Oh, what a waste. Okay. This has gone to hell in a handbasket. I think locking on is the bad, bad bit. Get closer, get closer. Honestly, he sucks when you're close range. Let's hit him with swords from now on. God damn it. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I didn't even see how, how much damage I was doing then. Fuck you. Okay. Demon Catalyst Humanity. Nice. Nice. Okay. I think I'm cursed to always do bosses second attempt in this game. By choice or not. I chose to die with Smaug and other fucker. This time I nearly had him. <laughs> but I... <laughs> Fuck it. Second attempt is better than three attempts or a thousand attempts, you know what I'm saying? And I put it down to only having five flasks. If I'd have had ten, even. That would have been uh, all I needed. 
Ooh, okay. God damn. It's getting warm in here. So I can go down or up. Hmm. I knew that was a minor boss, by the way. I had a feeling. I can hear what I think sounds like main boss, you know what I'm saying? Hello. I didn't get a soul or anything, so yeah, that must have been absolute minor boss. Just basic bitch rotund demon. Hmm. Where the hell is this going? Is there some shortcut out of here or something? Hello? Well, that's an elevator. Hmm. This must be a shortcut somewhere. Um... Oh, please, God, don't crumble beneath my feet. Don't crumble. Don't let me fall. That's the boss arena. Let's see where this goes. Um, I'm a bit, I'm a bit worried because there's no crank uh, handle for this. So if this is, I'm hoping this isn't a one-way elevator. I can't see. Kui likes to make. <gasps> Is this the short ride? It was an elevator that whole time. Okay, let me rest. I'm guessing this is your shortcut that's only available once you do something. Maybe join this covenant or something. Hmm. Okay. I knew it looked too much like an elevator to not be one. Right. Oh, that's a nice shortcut, is that? Okay. Let me know in the comments if that's uh, an elevator that only I and other chaos -y boys, fair lady spidery boys, can uh, use. Um, I wonder if it's not from being in the Covenant. Um, but something else, some other item. What's this? Thank you. Right, let's go down now, I guess. I mean, should I just commit to Lost Isolith? Oh fuck, that's bad. This is bad. I mean, I'm down here now. That wasn't your main boss. So I might as well just keep going, because... I came to the demon ruins to 100% to it, you know? I didn't come here to kill some minor boss, did I? Clearly. Ooh, nice. Oh. Is that Lost Isolith's door? I might as well level up, otherwise I'm just wasting souls, you know? I'm going to put a point in health. Because my health is becoming a bit of a problem, I'll be honest. Um, I can't decide if this is the same place. It is, isn't it? That this is Lost Isleth. Oh, I see that. Gimme. Okay, well, okay, looks like Demon Ruins just simply goes down to Lost Isolith. I might as well commit. Okay, this is a hell of a fall right here. Uh, no, it isn't the same corridor, is it? Because the, set, the the other corridor had like stairs that went to a lower bit with the with the spiky boys that ran away. This is different. Oh. I've got nothing to lose. Bring it on. Whatever it may be. Ooh. Hello, lava. And place I can't reverse. 
It's that fucker. Oh, Ooh, he's finally moving. Hello. Oh my god. Well, I'm fucked. How do you fight something with so many mouths? Ugly shit. He's got legs and a tail, though. Can I get behind him? Oh, fuck, man. I've got some outskirts to... Oh, fuck. Did I do any damage or am I too far away? Centipede Demon, it's called. Fucking hell! Oh god, I can't. There's no, there's no room to breathe, man. I'm guessing it's not weak to fire, and I'm missing the fire anyway. Fucking ugly piece of shit, dude. It's putting flames. Dude, dude, dude. It did no damage. The fire did no fucking damage. I can't see, man! Fuck off, would you? Where is it? Whoa! Oh my goodness. Okay, fire literally does no damage. Let's just uh, shield. God damn, man. I can't see! I can't even see, Captain! Fucking what? Where is he? What a shitty camera fight! Where? Where? Is it the walls? They're coming out of the goddamn walls. Ow. What is going on here? I mean... Oh, hello. Uh, I've got mostly... F you just chill up there in the mountain. I've got mostly fire-resistant gear on. I should be able to do this. Ooh, fuck. That was close. Right. Is this boss, boss, like, bugged completely? Like, is this just completely fucked? Jesus. Please tell me this isn't, like, eternally fucked. Fuck you, centipede bitch! You don't stand a chance against me when I've got a wall as a friend. Yeah, thank you, wall. I appreciate it. The, uh, the assist. Well, that was blocked off over th there, so I think I'll be able to go around to there. And then you've got that. That's the door where you can see from up top. It's a blind playthrough. It is what it is. If that turns out that's a really cool fight that I've just completely missed out on, basically. It is what it is. Or anything can happen in a blind playthrough. You can you can cheese bosses, you could bug them out, anything can happen. As I've said a few times in this playthrough, this is my experience with it. That was a bit bullshit, but it is what it is. Um, and I accept it for what it is. Do you see what I'm trying to get at? Um, weird, easy mode cheese. I did, I did nothing wrong. I was just fucking getting slapped in a corner. I went off a little bit to, to get some breathing room and I turn around and he's just gone. So I don't think I did anything particularly wrong. Um, let me know if that's a common problem. Or if I just got absolutely fucking lucky there. To, to kill the boss easily, it's lucky, but if you want the experience of fighting a boss, it's unlucky. Um, it is what it is. 
Let's read that. Oh, orange charred ring reduces lava damage. I'd have loved that when I was looting those fucking embers earlier in the game. Since his sores were inflamed by lava from birth, his witch sisters gave him this special ring. An orange ring enchanted by a witch. Get who? Him who? His witch sisters gave him this special ring, but fool that he is, he readily dropped it, and from that spot, a terrible centipede demon was born. So some big god guy dropped the ring and that centipede fucker was born. Who? Let's put it on so I can run around. Uh, let me just give this a little test run. Oh, that's fucking nothing! That's like 98% damage reduction. No bullshit. That's more than 90% damage reduction. Because your health just goes brrrrap dead normally. And that's nothing. I'm going to go to that non door over there first of all. See what that is. Watch it turn out that this is really damaging my armor. <laughs> um, by the way. I've got, like, perfectly enough runes for absolution. How about once we figure out whatever the fuck is going on, how about we try going to see if we can get the firekeeper not pissed off at us again. Is this the door? No. It just looks like a blatantly obvious doorway is all. Fire? A pathway that only fire shall reveal and all that shit. No, okay. Well, dude, this ring is so powerful, I don't give a fuck. Well, yeah, okay. Let me know your thoughts and feelings as to what just happened in the comments below. I don't know enough to, to have a feeling on it. I, I, if, if that turns out that's a really cool boss fight with cool mechanics, then I feel like I've lost out there, but at the same time, I feel like I might be one of the lucky few that just got an easy ride, basically. Right. Which golden boy is this? It's not Lautrec the Arsehole golden boy. Is this the Sun Warrior? Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. What are you searching for? Why? After all... Am I supposed to... What? Oh. Have something or to do something? Is he after the ring? I'd be hey, I mean, uh, I was gonna, I was gonna say I'd be happy to give him the ring, but fuck that, it's too valuable. Let's light this and see if he has anything to say. Is he still there? Yeah. I wonder if uh, taking the ring off. What? Oh. Why? No, okay. I, th this is sounding like an unfinished side quest sort of thing to me here. Like I haven't done something or I need something. But I've got no way of giving him the ring is what it feels like he's after. The ring is the only thing down here. Why? Oh. But I can't seem to give it to him. Anyway, what's down here? I figured there'd be like a boss soul at some point. If you t if you're telling me there was a boss soul on that centipede demon, but I can't lose his body because it's in the abyss somewhere through a wall, then my game is fucked. I'm guessing it wasn't one of your main monsters. It, it seemed too basic of a bitch of a demon. Uh, you know what I mean. Um. Oh, oh. I want to warp. I don't want to waste these runes. I can go to the Church of Absolution right now if I choose to. But I'm praying this very bonfire will let me come back to this Lost is a Little Place. Because I've noticed the fucking T Rexy thing over there. This must be the lower grounds around the area where I died earlier. Um, but I want to see about this Absolution thing. I'll be. I'll return. I'll be back. I kind of wish, uh...
all the warpable bonfires appeared on the list, even if you were at it, if you see what I mean. But it just wouldn't let you teleport to itself. So I've got a complete list. Hmm. Anyway. Even if this absolution isn't for what's a face, the firekeeper, I'll still do it. I don't want anyone pissed off at me. Whew. What a wild ride this episode has been. We're going, we're going on three hours, 15 minutes, so I'll keep going another maybe hour. Fucking hell, one hand, one hand is enough damage to kill him. Fucking hell. Oh fuck. Dude, right, okay, shall I do the same thing again? In fact, should I fire surge the doorway and just kill them as they come at me? I wonder if that's high enough damage to do. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Hang on. Calm down. Calm down. Oh, I don't have my poise ring on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> so I can fucking flame through without getting stumbled. Hang on. Fuck. You pesky shits. <laughs> okay. I love me some poise and some flamethrower action. Try him out. That was uh, worth it. Poise and flamethrower. Best combo. Okay, churchy boy. I'm giving you a shitload of runes here. Our souls. This better be for the firekeeper. I know he kept talking about Petrus, and I don't know if that's just coincidence. Or if he basically talks about the one that you are absolving for, you know? I can't even remember who the fuck Petrus was. I know that Princess, uh, the, the rear priestess was talking about Pe Petrus, but I, I can't remember who he is. He's not that, that guy down in Filing Shrine, is he? The, the big guy. Greet him. Fuck it. Take my money. That went up, by the way. Is it more expensive the higher level you are? You have not sinned. Okay, right. Okay. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, am I too lazy to walk back? Shall I home bone back? I'm a lazy bastard, okay. Oh shit, I'm down here. What? Well, uh. Okay, that's interesting. I still don't. I have. Don't, I still don't know if I can warp back to this one, but I'll just not rest at any other one. Um, here we go. Let's go back to Anne Orlando and see if she's all pissed at me. She probably is. She's too important to... Oh, is that it? <sighs> hmm. So you have received a revelation. Oh, is she... Very auspicious. I hope for the best. Right, is she commenting on the Maybe fact the that... I... Right. You, her wish will be granted. W hang on. Would she have said that if I just spoke to the woman only? Or did she just say what her first line there? That basically sounded like, oh, you've come to your senses. Did she say that because I've absolved my sins? Have you heard of Seath the Scarless? Once. Legend. He turned against the ancient dragon. Okay. He became Lord Gwyn's confidant, was granted dukedom, and was allowed to pursue his research. Okay. At the Regal Archives, he immersed himself in research on scales of immortality. The one thing that he did not have, but his very research drove him mad. The archives became a dungeon, a place for sinister experiments. Now, nobody dares even approach the Duke's Forbidden Archives. It looms over this land high atop the mountain. But I should warn against it. High up. Approach. 
Hang on, is that the golden door that was like at the top, like outside here? If you require rent, that is, after all. If you require rent, that oh, is. Oh, thank God for that. It's a shame I didn't do it with the merchant, but let's keep it real here. This person is far more important than the merchant. It would have sucked to lose a plus 15, uh, or plus 10? I could have fucking sworn I upped this fire to 15. In fact, I'm 90% I'm certain. Have I lost my... Whatever. Can I warp back down to the fiery place? I can't. Fuck. Um... In fact, I so can't, there's nothing even close. The closest is... Daughters of Chaos. Okay, okay. That's fine. Um... Oh god, since I'm back here... Should I go up into that golden door that's right here? Ah, right. Sorry. Okay, I get it now. She said that Seetha Scaleless was up high atop the mountain above whatever the fuck. It must be up there th through that very golden door that I mentioned. Okay. Well, I've committed to the demon ruins now. So I shall return. And I know that Seetha Scaleless is up there. Okay. Okay. I wonder which boss is down in the demon ruins, then. I'm so happy she's friendly again. Um, I wonder if I kill fucker again, the, the, the wimpy bitch, if I kill him, if she'll be, like, permanently upset at me. Either way. God. Um, I wonder if what's a face. You know, I forgot there was a shortcut down actually. Um, I've lost my train of thought <laughs> completely. So much going on. Right. Uh, let's take the non-fall damage way down, eh? And I guess that, that ring is necessary to let us run around the ground down here. But the, to be fair, there was a fog door the original way I went, wasn't there? You know? I, I will commit to going back the way I just uh, came from. But now I know there's, there's an upper area and a lower area, you know? And the ring is absolutely necessary for this lower area. Rest. I haven't found a warpable um, bonfire down here yet, though. This isn't warpable. The one by Semi Golden Boy isn't warpable. So. I don't know, maybe. Uh, maybe there are no warpable bonfires too far into one of the end game areas. Maybe it's all like, you know, start of an area bonfires. Hmm. Hang on, that centipede, that centipede demon isn't gonna be back again, is he? You know, he's been sitting there waiting, to, waiting to jump me this whole time. Now he has his moment, and then he goes and gets, like, sucked into a wall and killed. Still here? Or has he gone on since I've spoken to him? I feel like I should be able to give him a ring, and he's, like, trapped, basically, and not able to go further because of the lava. But, uh... I hope that speaking to him Why? means I can progress and he'll appear somewhere else now. Hmm. Well, I can see a branch to run on. I've got 20, I've got a, a big old 20 flasks to use, which is great.
there isn't a way around that, is there? No. I think we're at the foot of that big old dome-looking thing that we never figured out what the fuck it was. Oh, God help us all. If the size of the feet of these fuckers is anything to go by, and the fact they've got a big mouth where a face should be, th these are going to be bad. Hmm. I'd like to point out, I'm amazed at how many things seem to be weak to fire down in this fiery area. Unless that is my raw, sheer, maxed pyromancy damage that's, that's doing that. And I would be doing way more damage, you know, if they weren't resistant. Well, I can see a couple of bits in the lava surrounded by these fuckers. <laughs> um. Thank you. Ow. Okay, well, this is a death trap, is what this place is. Fuck it out, man. W where do I go? Oh, fuck, I'm trapped now. It's a good thing it reduces the damage as much as it does. Bloody hell. Well, I want that loot. Uh, and I kind of want to... Oh, there's loot everywhere, man, in the distance. Um, hi. Dude, I can't even lock on and they're not coming at me. Let's just go for this. Ugh. Maybe they're friendly. Maybe they're just like sort of dogs. Just giant undead flaming doggos with no faces. They haven't attacked me and I've got fucking close to them, so... Hello. Okay. Let's just check out all sides. Fucking around, I'm getting point blank close with this one. If this doesn't piss this dog off, then they can't get shit's moving. Whew. Okay. Right, I just saw a little saving checkpointy thing there. Right, I can lock on, but I'm not just gonna start killing innocent dogs, okay? Granted, it's a fucking hideous monster-looking dog, but uh, a dog is- oh! Jesus! Let's try tossing a fireball at it. Oh, hello, hello! Calm down! Calm down! Oh my goodness me. Did I hit it even? It's probably resistant, but did, did I do anything? I did nothing. Right, these are these are strongly resistant. That's one hand and shield, I guess. Uh. <gasps> oh! What the fuck, dude? They, they've got the kick distance of uh, well. I can't quite think of like a kickbox or something. One hell of a legged reach. These fuckers did not skip leg day. <laughs> um, best not to piss them off, I think. But um, let's go around the other side. Just, I've got to see if there was like an open door. Yes, there was. Right. Okay. Good. 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 Um. can't remember the shape of the chain and which was the monster and which wasn't. I think this is not the monster. Okay, good. So, curve away from me is just a chest. Cool. Right, oh. Um. Is this all optional down here?
Dude, you can get close to these. How are you supposed to fight them when most of the time they're in the air? And even when they're on the floor, their feet aren't even there because they're trying to kick you. What am I supposed to hit? Let's just try and ignore them best I can. In fact, I'm going to walk. <laughs> just taking a stroll in lava dog hell. And there's still some embers that I feel like I'm missing, like a great lightning ember, I think. Uh, or maybe not, I don't know. But there's, there's loot over there. I, I'll remember it's there, and I can always come back and try and get it later. <sighs> Jesus. I'm glad that they can't see. Maybe that's why they're, they're, their aggro range is short, because they don't have a fucking face. No eyeballs. Makes sense. And they're, they're going off on, like, vibration <laughs> under their feet. Ooh, nice. Well, this place is nothing else. There's some weird shit down there, maybe. The distant loot over there. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, fuck it, hell, man. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit! Fuck him. Are these all illusory walls, or is it just that one side? I am getting so lucky with some of this shit this episode. Every single one of these doors on every one of these mausoleum places has looked like an illusory wall. I just happened to find this one first, first out of all these walls. If I'd have tried like that wall and that wall from the outside and they hadn't worked, I probably wouldn't have even bothered trying this one. That's just pure luck. Ooh. Well, hey. Um, you know what, let's see about repairing my shit because seriously. I've been taking some serious damage. <laughs> uh, at least lava damage. Yeah, let's repair all this shit. Okay. Well, the fact that there's a bonfire here is making me think that this is a place to be. And there should be more to do down here. Nope. 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 I want that loot over there. Should I just try and run for it? Oh god, I've, I've, right, okay, I've rested my, my, my shit. Let's go for a jog. Now's as good a time as any to get that loot. Ooh, there's two. We are inside the dome, aren't we? Divine Blessing, okay. Okay. I guess we just gotta get back to the main temple now. Unless there's something else down here. There was nothing else in there but the chest. Um. <sighs> um. I, there was that that looked kind of odd over there, so I might, might, I might as well see if there's anything in there. I'd be stupid and. I claim to be a thorough player, so let's put that to the test. It looks like it's doing something. Yay, that was worth it. Okay. What's with that green shit up there? Is that just lighting weirdness? I think I've got everything down below, haven't I? 
Right, hang on. Um, are we about to appear up at the Fireboys level? I need to kill that motherfucker, but he's, he's so fucking strong. I can't be anywhere near his fire spell because of the lava on the floor. Um. Oh shit. Okay, well I fell down, didn't I? I fell down. I don't know how resistant to fire the fire boy is. He probably is quite resistant. In fact, it, it was that fire boy wearing the same cloaky shit that I'm wearing. The gold hemmed cloaky shit. Now hang on just a minute, where the fuck- <laughs> where the fuck am- I thought this was where I'd already been, but it's not. This is new. This- okay, if that's not an illusory wall, nothing is. But hang on just a moment here. Oh! Ooh. Okay. But it, yeah, no, this is a brand new little area. Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, can I get out of here, please? No, for real. I've got a fan over here who needs to die. Come here. The, the colours are weird in some places, like, it goes bluey-purple in some spots, I think, because of the shadows, but it's... I don't know. It's weird. It looks out of place. Right, okay. When I'm up high, I'll, I'll make sure I check edges, because I can't get to that from here. Okay, there's, there's more shit down here. Oh, no. Never mind, it's just a branch. Just a tree branch. Nothing to worry about. It's so fucking dark. You know, I upped the brightness between episodes, just so you know. And it's still pitch black. Hello? How is there not a little bit of loot here? Great camera work by me. Jesus Christ. Okay, we've got a googly boy. Is that a regular googly boy or is that a golden googly boy? Googly boy with two trumpets for a mouth. Alright, let's kill that motherfucker. I'm going to intentionally take a hit, I think. Oh, right, hang on, there's a fire-breathing shit as well. Let's hit them both in one. Ooh, oh, you can dodge the shit. Okay. Okay. Dodge the water breath. Right, hang on, there's the fiery shit up there. Ah, I see where I am. Well, okay. I've got to kill him somehow. Right, by the way, if I die now, I've got a hell of an awkward trek up here. 
Um, I don't know how to how it's best to kill this guy when he's just doing fiery shit. Uh. Where is that item of loot that I saw? And where does this go? Oh, there's more shit. Okay. Well, there's more places to go. Before I have to fight fiery fuck. Oh, there's the loot. Since it's a big old circle, I might as well get all this loot now. Thank you. Also, let me know in the comments, by the way. It's a bit late to say this now. But let me know uh, which of the weapon types I'm missing of all those plus tens, you know? Um, I know I'm missing spear. And a shield. But other than that, I don't know. Oh. Right, okay, let's fight Fiery Boy. I'm a bit worried he's so fucking powerful. S straight up, he's stronger than that demon Fire Sage boss. It ain't a, a Dark Souls game if the lowly minions are harder than main enemies. Um, now he's he's got the high ground like fucking Obi Wan Kenobi, which means I can't fireball him preemptively. We're, we're just gonna be in a fight. I've got seventeen fucking flasks. Let's use them. Um, if he just starts spewing f like loads of fire at me. Right, okay, my fighters fuck all, so. I've got plenty of ground to run around. Fucking hell, he backs off with some speed. Right, what's up here past him? I need, to, I need lots of room to run around and shit. Right, okay, okay. I might run at him. And just attack right off the bat. Fuck you, you you oddly powerful, but weak bitch. <laughs> he is wearing the same shit as me. It's the, it's the golden cloak. Isolith Catalyst. Let's read that. No wonder he was fucking immune to fire. Uh, scales A with intelligence. Um, Catalyst of the Witch of Isleth of long ago, when her daughters, my lady spiders, I believe, were still flame witches before they were engulfed by the Chaos Flame. Before the birth of pyromancy, their wands were mediums for sorcery, but knowledge of this flame sorcery has long since vanished. I wonder if I put the talking ring back on, if she's got something to say about that. If I present her with one of her long lost wands or whatever. Um... Well, I'll tell you, it's a fucking trek to get back here. If this is a boss, then that sucks because there isn't a, a bonfire remotely near here. Unless there's some stuff like front and center that I've missed, but I don't think there is. Um, I wouldn't be doing my due diligence if I didn't check every nook and cranny out though, so let me just... Ah, oh, there's a chest there, right, let's kill this thing. Okay, uh, this guy just needs one running attack. He needs not even that. What a puss. Okay, these guys are weak to fire. Right, chain. That should be an item. Yeah! <gasps> oh. Anything with fire and chaos is my shit. Chaos Fire Whip. Oh, it uses two slots. Oh, that's a that's painful. I love the Firebolt and the Chaos Storm too, too much to get rid of either of those, so I would need at least to buy one more slot and then get rid of the Flamethrower, you know? 
Art of the Flame of Chaos, which engulfed the wizard. Uh, uses 80, so I'm guessing that's just a basic attack. Uh, and I've got a fantastic fire sword, so I don't really need a basic thing. Uh, ooh, the fire whip was wielded by the eldest of the Daughters of Chaos. I take it back. I've got to put that shit on. I'm all about the Chaos Lady Spiders. Right, either this is going to be a ball lake of a boss room because I've got such a long trek back from the last bonfire, or it's not a boss room. Fuck the 23,000 runes. Oh, it's not a boss room. Okay, let's... Okay, this is like a Lara Croft <laughs> Tomb Raider segment. Let's dodge the trees, eh? Hey, eh? hey. Eh? Oh, shit. Oh, shit balls, man. Oh, fucking hell. Where's the where's the bonfire before the boss man? Oh Jesus. Um. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Right. Goodbye. Twenty three thousand runes. Ooh. Okay. I can't get within that inner ring. Um. Are those his like spears or something? Or are they? What are they? Bed of Chaos. Is this is is this like the source of all chaos in this world? Is this like one of your big major bosses? Okay. Can I just hide? <laughs> he seems stupid. Or at least he only attacks in this circle. If I can get behind him, he can't hit me. Um, are these like, um... Am I gonna dive? S something tells me I need to get rid of these two things. Can I lock on? He's not hitting where I'm standing, is he? No, he's not. He's just preemptively hitting his himself. Um... I might as well use one of my fireballs on this thing. Okay, that was stupid. Um. He's not hitting me, but let's just keep swinging this shit. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, his hand's there. Let's hit his hand. Can I hit his hand? No. Um, shall I just keep chopping wood? Is that a thing? Chop all his wood? <laughs> it's, 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 let's just chop his wood. Ooh, I did something. Right, I've got one of rid of one of his two little ropey th things. Uh, is he transforming? That's a yes. Is he like the king of all spiders, by the way? He must be. Oh, God. Oh, let's get the fuck out of here. Goodbye. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! What? I can't... What? I put it to you, kind sir or madam. I didn't stand it. I didn't run into that pit there. Did you see that? I I stopped be well before the actual hole in the floor. I think I got pushed into it then. Which is some bullshit. That that little runny bastard better not be alive again. The the fire one. And I was doing so well just chopping wood, you know. Fuck. There's my dreams of doing it first time gone. Alright, okay. Maybe it's not that big a deal to run back, I guess. If all these little fiery fucks are back, it is kind of annoying though. Well, it is what it is. Let's just run past everything, I guess. Uh Okay. I've got a lot of fuckers to get past here, though. Lee. 
leave me alone. Oh shit. Oh shit. Octopus boy is back here. Is. I can just run around these as well. They seem pretty slow and stupid actually. See? Right, it's fire boy back. It was I love the sound these things are making. Blop, 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 blop. Blop, blop, blop. Okay. So, I've got to go to either side, clearly, but it's... Pretty obvious, it's it's quite a gauntlet between the left side and right side. <laughs> um. Okay. I maintain that was bullshit. <laughs> and I didn't deserve that. But, uh, fuck it. Fuck it. I've still got 16 flasks. Oh shit, right, it's continued. Well, I want my souls back. Oh fuck, man. Fucking, I can't see what's coming. Jesus. Uh, let's keep going. Dude, I can't even see, dude. I might just run for this. Stick to the edges. I think if he hits me, it just pushes me to the hole. Yeah, there you go. I mean, talk about an absolute cock egg. We're, we're, we're pretty much at time for this episode. So I might have to... I might have to edit out the runs back. How about that? Just to make this palatable. So every time I die, I'll jump cut back to the boss room. And we'll do this, this episode. Back again for attempt number three. And you know what I was just thinking? Is a tree, and he seems to kind of be weak to fire. Shall I put on the uh, your fast fire boy weapon? Because then at the very least, I can do fast slashes of the little branches or whatever. There's no point having my shield out, it's doing fuck all. I'm just getting pushed into holes, so let's put the shield away. Ooh, God. Okay. Attempt number three. I'll just- I'm just gonna go for it this time. I've lost my soul, so that's fine. I think the key is to just stay away. Ow. I need to- I need to heal before anything else. Ooh. Gotta dodge and roll and dodge and weave and dodge and weave and roll and weave. Weave and roll and dodge and roll. And weave and dodge and shit. There we go. Fast attacks, fast attacks. Fuck you and your branches. What do you think about that, bitch? You big old tree bitch. You ain't nothing. I feel like I'm killing the father of the lady spiders though. Kind of. <laughs> Chaos spider monster. I hope they don't get angry at me. Oh god, here we go. Final form! Can I get to that central mouth bit? I don't know why, but I feel like that's safer than the, the, the swingy arms. Ow! Yeah, that's why. Fucking hell, man. Can I attack its hand? Oh fuck. Oh fuck, man. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Jesus, man! Can I attack its hand? Fuck you! No, I can't. Right, I've got to get to its mouth. But I've got to get past all this fucking shit. I think it's best to roll. I mean- oh shit! Oh right, I'm down. Okay, can I go down? No, I can't. Let's go up. Up, 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 up. I've got this. Fuck off. No, I had it! Mr. Frodo, I had it. No. 
Okay, I was lucky enough to get pushed onto the very path before its mouth. It seems that this book okay, this boss fight seems to continue in whatever stage you last left it, which is a good thing. So let's um fast travel back. We're back again now. Before I go back in, I might as well switch out that ring for something that will protect me. Um It says reduces lava damage. Now I don't think that will count fire from attacks, will it? Because I'm still taking a shitload of damage from that lava. I might just go fire defense. I think that will actually help a little bit. Right, I'm just going to get front and center on that path and then run down the hole. God. What a ball like of a boss. It can just sweep you into a hole like a fucking... the king of all maids. Here we go. Front and center. I think. I wonder if I can just literally go front and center. Ow! Fucking! I look at the damage of that. This is ridiculous, dude. Oh, I thought I took damage. Shit, that was a waste. Right, go, 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 go. Fuck off, would you? Let me just, let me just progress. Fast, fast, fast. I'm guessing it can't damage me down here. I mean, fucking hell, man. What's this? Right here. What's this? I don't know, let's just attack it. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Just attack its little tiny brain. Well, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, you one-hit bitch. Lord, soul, humanity. And I've got something in my eye. Well, what a way to round out the episode. And 60,000 runes, woo. And a bonfire. Well, I'm glad to see that, that the difficulty of that wasn't in its health and shit. It was just in the running running the gauntlet past its big sweeping tree hands. I might as well, you know... I might as well level up twice. Just, let's put a couple more points in health. Uh, you know what? I want dex at 20, then I might stop it for a little while. And then health. There you go. Bosh. Level 72 at the end of this episode. Now let's see what the crack is. Let's go back up and just inspect the area, shall we? So that, that boss, that bed of chaos, was just one tiny little tumour at the centre of the earth, causing all that problem. I think possibly responsible for the lady spiders and everything, just one little shitty thing. One swipe. And the fucking thing's dead. I'm hoping lady spiders are friendly and like free of maybe a curse now? Um... There's no way out of here, is there? You, you have to warp from this, don't you? Okay. Well, let's go up to lady spider and I'm gonna put on that witch's ring and see if she's got anything to say. I, I think, other than talking to that golden boy again, further back, and I might do that at some point. Um, other than that, I think I've done everything down here, so... Uh, put on the old witch's ring. And I might end the episode at the Chaos Lady Spider. Oh, no, let's go back to Firelink Shrine and put that soul in the vessel. So that's one soul down, you know? Is she alive still? Please don't hate me. Oh. Terribly. Okay. I guess she hasn't noticed that I killed, like, her father or some shit. She's obsessed with her sister. Okay. Right. That's okay. Okay. All right. Quilak. All right. Okay. Let's uh. Let's go back to Firelink Shrine. I think next time. 
I'm, I'm, I'm sort of undecided. I kind of want to save that shit on top of the mountain for last. That feels like a last sort of thing to me. Or maybe I'll do Tomb of the Giants last and that mountaintop first. Those are the last two things. I want to do New Londo and Valley of the Drakes both before those two things. And I think Valley of the Drakes might be next. I feel like I'm leveling past the Valley of the Drakes, you know? Okay. Anyone new here? Anything to say? Anyone to speak to? What about Sneaky Boy? I wonder if he's got some... That's the wrong place. For a second there, I thought the snake had bailed on me. Here he is. Anything to say about the, the bed of arsehole that's died? I am pleased. Is it something... Er yes. Let us... Ooh, whoop. Very well. Then... Oh, right. Okay, yeah, okay. He's got big old chompers, hasn't he? <laughs> I love the sort of the long run up he takes to swallowing it. He doesn't just like just go and nom. No, he does like a proper wind back animation. I guess it's hard work swallowing me. <laughs> I, st I still think he looks like a rabbit upside down. That's something. Anyway, can we put the Lord Soul in just for lols? Yes. Take your bed of chaos soul. Is that it? Okay. Right, so I don't have to do that. Understood. Okay. Um So what did I say is is next? Um Valley of the Drakes. Now, for all I know, that might be the hardest place of all. I don't know. But I tell you what, I'm going to end the episode now since it's been four hours. Um, but how about this? I've got access to lightning upgrades, and I know full well dragons are weak against lightning. So, in addition to upgrading all your remaining types of weapon to plus 10, and, and maxing, min-maxing your boss weapons to see what we can get next time. Um, I'll only farm shards, upgrade to plus 10. I won't even look at that list of boss weapons until the start of next episode, so I don't spoil it for myself. Um, but I will try and upgrade one of everything before next episode. I've probably got a hell of a, a job to do. Um, I probably should have saved those 60,000 souls. <laughs> But I'll just do a bunch of farming like last time, upgrade as much as I can. At the start of the next episode, we'll see about more boss weapons, and I'll see about a lightning weapon. I kind of want to get a lightning weapon to plus five or or whatever the fuck. You, you see what I mean? Um, I don't know if they got to plus ten or something. Uh, I don't really have a fast way back there, do I? Uh, Dark Moon Tomb is just beneath. Yeah. I'll see about that, and I I might wait until next episode before actually upgrading your lightning weapon. But I'll, I'll see what I need, how much I need, and uh, if I can make a decent, strong lightning weapon. And I'm not... I've got a lightning spear, remember, at level 1. But I'm, I'm not sure I want the spear. I might want some other weapon instead, like an axe or something. Uh, so I'll try and decide that... Uh, for next time. In fact, you know what I'm suddenly thinking? I'm tempted to take this Vihander Lightning rather than... Uh, oh god, I don't know. Because it's it's re it's ready for Chaos Upgrade right now if I want to. Um, so yeah, no, scrap that. I won't, I won't use this Vihander. But I, I'm tempted to not go with the Spear and just try something else. I, I don't really know what, though. Um, I'll have a brief look now, because I want to decide this before next episode, if you see what I'm saying. <sighs> now, hang on a second. Hang on just one second here. Okay. Okay. I'm starting to raise my decks a little bit. Enough to do some damage with your decks weapons. And I don't need the katana anymore. Because I chose the Cu the Fury Sword over the Chaos Blade, which you would have used the Katana here. 
So that katana is freed up now. Ooh. I need your feedback. I'll, I won't decide now. I'll decide between episodes and, and so we're good to go for next time. But I am sorely tempted uh, to take chaos. Vihander with turn that to chaos and turn the Aito Katana to lightning. It's not very effective for your long range poking of of dragons. Dragons are big and that's the one good idea about using a lightning spear. You can poke the dragons from long range so a katana might be shit for dragons. But hey, if there's any single weapon that, that would look Come on, if there's any single weapon on Earth that looks appropriate and awesome with lightning around it, it's a fucking katana. Y you can't beat a katana. <laughs> Except maybe some awesome great swords, but you see what I'm saying. Um, that said, I did say last episode, and I still feel this way, that I want one weapon at plus 15 normal, no, no special ascension. And that might end up being the, the katana, maybe. Because um, the katana is awesome. Mm. You see, the lightning spear is fucking... Actually, you know what? The lightning spear is super high damage right off the bat with no upgrades. That's... With lightning against non-weak enemies to lightning, like dragons. Even, against dragons, it does even more damage. But even to normal damage that's doing 288 fucking damage that's close to the black knight swords damage fuck me i've got a lot of weapons you know what that's that i might have to go with the spear let me just equip it and just start doing some pokes okay because i do like the poke it's got the pokey pokey of the halberd but even more pokey pokey because the, the the power attack is even pokey pokey and the running attack is pokey pokey. It's got all your strengths of the halberd, but just more pokey pokey. And come on, it, and it's faster than the halberd's pokes as well, if you noticed. Halberd has pokey pokey, but it's slow pokey pokey. This is fast pokey pokey. <laughs> um, all I've got to do is run up to a dragon, running attack, and then just go poke, 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 and like four pokes. Upgraded lightning damage. I'm gonna fucking kill motherfucker. Right, okay. I've decided the spear is my lightning upgrade. I think I'll save your Aito Katana for plus 15. I've only got one upgrade item, by the way, to get you to plus 15. Oh, like over 14. Um, your chunks get you to 14, but there's only that. Yeah, there you go. I've only got one slab. Uh, I've just noticed it has lightning weapon, by the way. Uh, right, you can buy the shards and the large titanite shards. You cannot buy this. Th yeah, this is like I was saying at the start of this episode. That's why I didn't upgrade anything past, past plus 10, because you can't buy those. Um, I wonder if you can farm them. Because if I'm going to take my katana to plus 15, no elemental upgrades or whatever you want to call it. Um, I need to use these, but I need these for my lightning upgrade as well. I even need that one slab I've got for lightning, it sounds like, so I can't use it for a plus 15 normal weapon. Um, lightning comes first because Dr Valley of the Drakes comes first. Hopefully at some point I get more of these two. And then maybe I'll end the game with a katana of all weapons. That would be a nice ending. Thanks for joining me for this episode. It's been a, a progress-filled episode, I like to think. And I was expecting... I was Honestly, unless I've missed something, I was kind of expecting the Lost Isleth area under the Demon Ruins. Once I learned it was even... Ex existed. I didn't even know it was a thing. But once I found that place, I thought it would be a much longer endeavor, kind of like Catacombs or, or some shit, or Anno Londo. I was half expecting like some sort of fire city or something, but that was short and sweet, and I've killed the boss. Like this video if you liked it, like this video if you didn't like it, and subscribe for similar content. 
All my links are in the description, and I have a Patreon if you want to go above and beyond to support my playing of these games. That's the best way to do so. I'll catch you guys in the next episode where, at least until I get someone's feedback and, and maybe you'll, you guys will tell me it's a bad idea, my plan for next episode is to start with Valley of the Drakes. And then I think New Londo after that, because those ghosty fucks need to die, okay? And it sounds like the Four Kings boss, whatever the fuck that is, is in New Londo. I don't know if there's going to be a, a world boss, or a lord boss, or whatever it's called, in Valley of the Drakes, or if that's just purely an optional place. Um, and by the way, I've heard you loud and clear, before we end the episode, about going back down to the garden basin, the, the dark root basin, because past the... the Hydra place is apparently where the DLC stuff starts, but I think I'm gonna save that for the very end and I'm talking like 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 do do the the, the shit on top of the mountain do maybe Most of the places that are remaining before doing that Maybe even waiting until I've seen the final boss of the game and then f dying <laughs> and then fucking back off to do the DLC because when this game was released, I assume, like, people played the DLC with their already completed the game max level character. It just feels end game to me, does the DLC. So, that will come in a few episodes time. It'll take me a while to get there. Anyway, I'm waffling. Thanks for joining me on this episode. I'll catch you in the next one. Liquid Blitz. Out. Out.